己の悪行を地獄で食いるがいい立体忍者活劇天中天中ステルトアサシンズ、リフバイアナ、キルバイステルト。
right, folks, indeed a glorious day here on the channel as I get to play my most favorite console of all time, the original PlayStation, also known as the PSX or the PS1. Now, I'd like to touch on a few things here. The first thing I'd like to say is that there will be no bleep in here. Uh, if you came from the Castlevania video and you saw that all the cussing was bleeping, that's because of YouTube's uh, policies on, you know, vulgarity vulgar language at the time they were pretty harsh and they have since in a pretty historical and unprecedented move from them they reversed it and they eased up on it and because my fear was not monetization there's no such thing here uh, with not with my views and you know the frequency of my uploads but I was concerned about my videos being uh, restricted and censored and disappearing after all the work I put into them so that's why I bleeped I don't, I don't like bleeping, uh, I don't believe in it, uh, my content is not aimed for kids, or not really family friendly, I'll probably try my best to ease up on it if I play a, a, a kid's game, but I'm not the parent of your, your children, and you're the one who should be responsible, I have three kids myself, and Lord knows I don't like him, and I don't allow them to be roaming the internet, I'm not at their age. Uh, because there's a lot of nasty stuff out there and one of those nasty things could be me here cussing and saying horrible things while I'm playing the game that's not for kids uh, you know it's uh, if you're a parent and you're concerned about such matters my channel is probably not the best place besides I play old ass games here anyways I don't play Fortnite or none of that stuff not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with it but my demographics are, uh, I think, are a lot older, according to the analytics, anyway. So, long story short, you'll be cussing, you'll be rage, I do get angry, I try not to, nothing is forced, I don't force anything, that's the whole point of the channel, me just being myself. And that might offend some people. If you're one of those people who are sensitive, remember, you don't have to call it quits on my channel with every upload, I'll go through the trouble of recording the audio of the game separately so that I can make a no commentary video because not just the cussing or anger, some people just don't like to hear another person. They might not like my voice or my accent, my personality, or they just don't want to hear anybody talking. It happens. Sometimes I look up videos with no commentary as well when I just want to see some sort of gameplay going on. So completely understandable. Watch the no commentary if that's your case. And also, with this one, it will be a quite unique uh, occasion where this happens, is that I uploaded a Grandmaster run only. So all the frustrating bits edited out it still ended up quite, quite long, quite lengthy. Uh, however, I will be also uploading an unedited version of it with all the frustration, all the loading time, everything unedited. That's why it's called unedited. That's not going to be for everyone. I expect, you know, less than 10 views on it, and that's fine. I'm not peddling the algorithm. Not, I don't care about none of this stuff, okay? As you may have noticed, or maybe not, there's no longer even semi-script. It's script nothing. There's nothing here. Just some cue cards, some little, you know, notes that I wrote on a Microsoft Word document so that I can remember all the points that I want to make. But all the talk will be coming from my heart and there'll be nothing on paper and I won't be reading anything, therefore uh, you'll be 100% natural. Although I try to be a little bit more eloquent than I would usually, you know, in real life. Anyways, I want to start by mentioning a few things. The anamorphic widescreen, in case you skipped here, this game is not stretched uh, from 16, you know, four by three to 16 by nine, just stretching, it's not. Uh, the title screen, uh, FMVs and that sort of thing, that there's nothing you can work with it. There's no image there to, to be seen besides what is being shown to you at the time. Uh, nothing can be done with them and therefore they are stretched. Uh, however, the gameplay itself, which is the bulk of the videos, it is not. It's anamorphic widescreen. Uh, the field of view is expanded and I'm not stretching anything, so please don't tell me I'm stretching when I put the comparison and I'm mentioning you now, okay? It is not stretched. I wouldn't stretch the game. And if people stretch their games, let them be. They, if they want to do it, you may mention to them, but if they say, hey, 
I'm fine with it. Just uh, just move on. Let them let people do what they want to do. Okay, <laughs> just gotta gotta learn to live and let live. Okay, personally, it doesn't bother me when I see somebody playing a four by three game on a sixteen by nine. I usually do that myself. Then I learned that you know maybe that's not the best look, but it wasn't because a guy uh, came here and told me you know you're uh, kind of a dick and you gotta stop doing that. And I go, oh okay then. No, it's because naturally I, I was like, well, the aspect ratio. I want to keep the original. So, but I still don't like black bars uh, on any of my screens, and I go out of my way to to find the right monitor for whatever content I'm playing, and that goes for. 16 by 9 being squashed on a 4 by 3 CRT as well. It's not a good look. Anyways, I incorrectly call the layouts of this game. I learned, you know, after I beat the game for the third time with the Grandmaster, that the, there's three layouts, which I suspected, A, B, C. So whenever I say arrangement, it means if you're very familiar with this game and that's why you're watching it, it means I'm, I mean layouts. That's, that's what that is. And finally, one little thing that I'll touch on later is the turn on the catwalk because I complain a lot about that. That's when an enemy is on a predetermined path, you know, an NPC. And every now and then they kind of stop in the middle and turn. And if you made a move which required a, a large distance for you to cover on foot, that means you're going to get spotted. And it's infuriating because it's kind of random. Now, after my playthrough was over I I was thinking about that you know how much I complain about it because it was my major complaint with the game but here's the deal instead of you know kind of rolling the dice there and just going whenever maybe wait for them to do the little turn on the catwalk and then you go after the enemy uh, after he does it because they don't do it twice in a row that's never happened in all my playthroughs of this game it just never happened so if I was to play this game again, I would be a little bit more patient and wait for them to do the little turn, that, that the random turn, and then attack him if there's uh, time. Okay? Now, let's start with a compliment sandwich then. Okay, so positives. The first thing positive about this game that I really like is that you really feel like you're playing as a ninja. Now, when you play a game such as Ninja Gaiden, which is, you know, a very famous ninja game I can think of to, you know, right now. It, you are literally going around downtown killing everyone you see. Now, if you think about realism, and you're in America, so when you when you think about realism, it's it's a bit odd, right? Because you you're doing the opposite of what a ninja would do. Now, the game is awesome, you know, uh, but. If, when you think of it, you're not really, I mean, the reflexes, I guess, you got to be a ninja on, on that game in particular. And it's very hard, and it's a, a great, beloved game. I'm not bad-mouthing it. But Tenshu, you are an actual ninja in feudal Japan. And you, you have to be stealthy, which is obviously what being a ninja is all about. And this game delivers that. You feel like a ninja if you go by brute force. If you're spotted, you will be punished with a lower ranking. And, you know, other people will be alerted as you fight your way along. One guy is very frustrating. So you want to be stealthy in this game. It feels like you are a ninja. And for me, that's very special. I have always loved ninjas since I was a kid. A lot. Which, you know, most kids back then, they would. The... I, one of my favorite movies of all time is Five Elements Ninja. If you have a chance, if you like martial arts, if you like ninjas or any of that sort of thing, go get that movie because it's awesome. And it's, it's the best movie, uh, ninja movie I know. And of course there's other ninja movies that are cool, but that one in particular is my favorite. It's a great movie and that's what Tenshu feels like, like you are a ninja, you live by stealth. Okay. And, and that's that. Now, the second point, as I look here at my cue cards, is the music. <laughs> the music of this game is incredible. It is excellent. Now, moving on to the PlayStation, you start to have your red, uh, red book audio, so your CD quality music, which is excellent. And this, this game is insane. 
uh, how, how great the music is. It's, it is very ecclatic, which is a word I had to look up to make sure I was pronouncing correctly, and I hope I am. Uh, meaning there's a huge variety of it. It's like no two tunes here feel that they're related. You have your typical Asian flavor, you know, Japanese instruments that are, you know, often associated with ninja uh, and samurai movies. But you have a lot of other stuff, uh, too, that is incredible. For example, there's one stage that there's even what I suspect to be Native American chanting because the anime is also somehow they're Native American. And it's awesome. It's an awesome tune. The music is excellent. It's excellent. It's superb. It's otherworldly. Uh, the, the amount of work they put into the music, the soundtrack of this game, it is incredible. And 100% you'll be able to listen to it and enjoy it outside the game. Okay? Now, furthermore, on the compliment sandwich, on the compliment part, I would like to mention the, the two characters. You have two characters. And they're not just reskin characters, they are very different in terms of personality and on gameplay. I, okay, I, I admit it, I never played as Ayami, but it's something that I'm saving to do later, once I've had enough of this game, which is now. I've reached that point, so next time I play Tenshu, you'll be with Ayami. Now I heard that she is uh, quicker, but somehow weaker than Rikimaru. Now, Rikimaru is a ninja, but I feel like he, he does feel heavy, at least for me personally. I find that he's very heavy uh, and a bit slow at times, and I, I look forward to play as Ayami, to playing as Ayami someday, because how faster she is, you know, I, I don't know yet. But, but yeah, so you have two characters that feel different, they play differently, and they, they have very, very different personality, and the cutscenes and the characters, the way you interact with the characters, it is different if you play as Ayami, okay? Uh, which is very interesting and adds to the replay value of the game. Now, speaking of level, the levels, they are, there's a good variety and they are unique. If you show me a level, I'll know which one it is most of the time. The caves can get kind of, sort of, you know, look like each other. Uh, look alike, sorry, uh, but for most part, the the stages are very unique with very unique missions, you know, and I can really appreciate that they put a lot of work into it. Uh, now the voice acting, you would say, is negative, but for me, it is the highlight of the game because yes, it's the old "so bad is good" kind of thing. The voice acting is it's incredible. I find myself saying, "Ooh." Minister Kataoka sure likes his money. Hmm, leave it to me. <laughs> we could not do business without you. Burn in hell, you heretic. Or my favorite. Looks like you chose the wrong party to crash. And also the, uh, the uh, what, what is his name? The main guy, supposed to be a demon, you see him in the intro. Uh, God damn it, I forgot his name right now. Um, he, the way he speaks is incredible. It's incredible. We meet again. This time, you die. That's that's all in the game. It is awesome. It is hilarious. When I went to play this game the first time, it kind of put me off. I looked into playing the original with the original Japanese uh, voices, which is also very good, right? But. As I play the game more and more, I just fell in love with the dialogue because it's so bad that it's beyond incredible. And you will you will laugh at some of the lines. They are amazing. Uh, speaking of lines being spoken, the narrator, I feel like I have to mention that, they hired a very professional narrator to for the little cutscene before the stage. It gives her a little bit of the lore on what's going on. And his voice is just buttery, smooth, it's excellent. So they put effort into that as well, the English narrator. And finally, the atmosphere, Feudal Japan. I heard somewhere that the, at first the game with a head of mind should be a futuristic game. And I'm glad it didn't go that way. It's similar to Red Dead uh, Revolver. I think the, it was going to be anime or something. 
who knows? There's a lot of rumors with those things, but I, either way, regardless, I'm glad they went with the feudal Japan. You are right at home being a ninja. You are not being an outlandish person somewhere, you know, uh, like a ninja in New York or some shit like that. So it's pretty awesome that uh, that is very Japanese. The music really complements it. It's it's just excellent. Now let's move on to the negative part of the compliment sandwich. Okay, so while while the graphics they don't bother me, they're PS1 graphics. I think that while pixel art, most people say it, it is timeless, and I agree, it's just pixel art, right? A good pixel art then, it is still good pixel art now, and it, in my opinion, it never looks old or out of place in any game, as long as it's cohesive. You're using pixel art that matches, right? Uh, now the same way I see PlayStation 1 graphics, and again I'm not alone on that because a lot of modern games, modern kind of what do you call them, uh, modern retro games, they are now going for that, going for that uh, PS1 look. You know, a lot of indie horror games and uh, like have that sort of Silent Hill kind of look to them. And I think it's awesome. Yes, a lot of it I would say that is because it's easier to develop. Much like pixel art is a lot easier than, you know, going and making a triple A, triple A looking game. But however, some people do have the ability and they do uh, choose those PS1 style graphics because a lot of people tell you that they look creepy in their own way. They, they, they look, they, they have a certain feeling to them once you're playing a PS1 game. And that is here and that doesn't bother me. It might bother you, you know, the pixelated trees and the pixelated textures. Uh, you know, of course, if you're gonna compare Tenshu with a modern game, it's, it's not gonna survive the test of time. But for me, the PS1 graphics are timeless. Uh, I'm Yes, I'm absolutely biased. I love the PlayStation, uh, and that's that. I love the graphics, they don't bother me. However, that being said, the gameplay, in my opinion, has shown its age dramatically. It, the game is quite janky at, at times. I, I see that with the AI. Uh, the AI, they get confused, kind of geriatric, walking around, climbing on trees and they get confused it's not it's not programmed very well um, it, and the mechanics it's you know the combat is also I'll, I'll touch on that in a bit so but the game it there, there's a there's a good amount of jank to be had here now it is again the first 3d stealth game ever made I google it and much to my surprise, yes, it was. I didn't know that the first few times I played it. So I think that's awesome. So we're gonna touch on the influence in a bit too. But yeah, uh, let it be known that I think that this game is janky at times. It, it, there's a lot of jank here. Okay, uh, another negative point I would say is the occasional, the layouts, I don't be calling them correctly now because I know they're called layouts and not arrangements. I couldn't find a word for it when I was playing the game. Sometimes they can be un unforgiving, but then, you know, with the enemy placement. Like sometimes you have a guy that uh, you go kill him and then, oh, guess what? Behind a, uh, you know, a door, there was another guy who opens a gate or something. And sometimes they can see you like through walls. It's, and that's not janky. I don't know what is, and I'm forgiven. Uh, and that has happened on playthrough. I have caught that on camera, on tape, and that's that, you know, so. But again, you can try to mitigate that to help out a little bit yourself uh, to your arsenal, or to, you, you may call it the shop, and get yourself some you know, poison rice and that kind of stuff that might help uh, quite a bit once you know what you're doing. Furthermore, another point to be made here on the jank is that when you fight in a boss, you gotta be you got to be worried about being spotted or falling off, of, you know, a cliff or something, the, the stage. Not to your death, just literally falling off and you have to come back. I, it is janky. I found that infuriating. I don't think I think it should have the game again hind, hindsight, but I, I think the game should have been programmed in a way in a way that when you're in a boss fight. Uh, there's sort of an invisible wall and the spottings don't, don't count. You could even leave the enemies there, like if they came in into the room. But you shouldn't, you shouldn't count as being spotted when you're in a boss fight. 
okay? It's just the way it is all here, and you gotta get used to it. Another point to be made is the game does cheat sometimes. Again, many great games do. I love Mortal Kombat 2, and the I cheats in there. Street Fighter 2 has some cheating as well. Most games, you know, the rubber band in a Mario Kart, it happens. So it happens here as well. So the AI knows where you are, and it's not, oh, but CRT Rex, the AI always knows where you are. No, uh, uh, Alien Isolation, they program that AI perfectly. It kind of gets hints of where you're at, but not uh, exactly where you're at, because that kind of breaks the game. So you have uh, an AI that is pretending they don't know you're there, but they do know. While, while Alien, the Xenomorph on Alien Isolation, he doesn't not, the AI truly doesn't know where you are, okay? But of course, this is a much older game, and the AI is not that deep, and they do know where you are at. And uh, there's a level, uh, level nine, I think, there's a lady, and there's a dog on the last level that they do not turn. I don't know if that's a mistake, or an error, or I would say it's intentional, but wherever you go uh, around them, they will turn not because they spotted you they know you're there so they're always facing you and that pretty much tells you the AI does know where you're at but the problem with that if it was just those two enemies no the problem is that when you're waiting for a guy to turn around the AI knows you're there so they would disproportionately look at your direction and take forever to turn around and give you a chance to attack and that can be very annoying especially if you, your patience is a bit short Okay, so have that in, in mind. And, and it's janky too sometimes with the way they spot you. I have been spotted before, and I also caught that on tape. If you were to watch the whole thing, uh, bless your heart. But uh, a dog pretty much saw me through his back, and a guy to one time. So they can't see you, even if they're not facing you, and that's pretty much absurd. Uh, speaking of dogs and animals, another point is the cat. The cat sucks. I know, you know, you might be a cat person, but I'm talking about the cat in this game. It sucks. It just, it can be killed. And I don't, I'm not even sure what you do with it. You know, I don't know if the spotting counts or if it just alerts enemies. But it's just a very odd thing. Because you can kill the dogs. Uh, you're encouraged to do so sometimes if you want to go forward. Now with the shurikens, for example, it helps a lot. But the cat, I could never kill the cat. I did all I could. And it's an immortal cat. It has... Uh, way past nine lives. It has infinite lives, it looks like. It, it, it can be affected. Now, another one is that the game supposedly came before the dual analog or the dual shock later on existed, and I think it would have been a lot better with analog controls. And I'm usually a pretty okay guy with a D pad. I love D pads. I'm, but on this instance here, it would have helped a lot. You wouldn't have to, to dash. And that's another point to the dash. It's horrible. I don't know if the problem is with my thumbs or my controller, but the dash is extremely hard to pull off. For me, at least, it's inconsistent. And it caused me to die quite a few times and should not even bother most of the time to try the, uh, the, the long jump, for example. And some of the moves, I couldn't understand how they came out. And one time, I swear to God, there was a double jump. It, it happened. It must have been some kind of glitch, like a literal double jump. So, you know, I, I write that off to the game's jankiness. That's all. But, yeah, the dash is kind of annoying. So if you had analog controls, you'd be just, you hold all the way to run like everything else. I think it would have been better. I don't know if later revisions, Tensho has a lot of revisions. I don't know if later on, uh, later revisions came with dual shock support, but not that I know of, but granted, I didn't look too deep into it. Okay. And finally, the combat, it's uh, very linear, is also janky, you know, uh, turning around and doing things like that in the middle, midst of a battle. But it's very linear, it's not very fun. It's, again, again, the game is not made with that in mind. The game is about stealth, not combat, but I feel that the combat could have been a tiny bit more refined, and it's just, you know, it's just not very good. It's just pretty much attack with a combo or whatever attack you want to do, and then wait and block, and then do it again. It's just kind of boring. I personally don't care much for it. And uh, as far as I know, that ends the negative part of the compliment sandwich. So let's 
let's finish this with some more positives to wrap it up and leave a sweet taste here lingering. Okay, the first positive is something I don't know much about, but is I've seen one video at least of it, and it looks excellent. It's awesome. Is the debug mode. Uh, I would just tell you go watch debug mode Tenchu. You can do so much stuff. There's like almost like a PC game with the, with mods and hacks and things. I've seen a guy populating a whole stage full of bears and that sort of thing. You can just guys use every weapon. It's a debug mode. And this game has it and apparently it's a lot of fun and I definitely will be trying to do it uh, someday and check it out myself. Uh, another good point, I think the camera works very well for what it is at the time. It didn't give me much trouble. I would say it gave me less trouble than Mario 64, which is a game I adore and grew up with. I found the camera to work okay for for most part. There's jank, of course, but I think it could have been much, much worse. In, uh, you know, with many early 3D games I played, and I, I feel it works very well here. Another point to be made uh, positively is the Grandmaster ranking. Uh, it actually rewards you with weapons instead of being just high score, you know, and uh, like sort of like trophies and achievements, which I personally am not into. I like to see people doing it, like that. Uh, there's a guy, God Godlike Matt. Uh, he does trophy hunting, and I admire those people. They have a, a very big commitment with what they're doing uh, as far as the world of video games go. And I find it outstanding, but it's not something I would try myself. I'm not a big achieve. One thing I remember achievements is playing Xbox 360 and getting annoyed every time I did a new fatality with Mortal Kombat 9, that thing popping up. Oh, achievement unlocked. Uh, and and then I'm it's distracting. I hate it, I don't like it. And so I'm not an achievement trophies kind of person. But it is awesome in this game that you actually got to get a reward instead of being just about, you know, I got the ranking and that's it. No, you get special crazy weapons that are available on the right side of the shop. And it's pretty cool. And you can get more than one uh, of each. Now, another thing related to Grandmaster is that the game is actually quite forgiving. Now, when I started playing this game, I was under the impression that if you get sighted, if you get spotted and you get the, the, the red warning sign with the two exclamation marks that is over your your grandmaster is over and and it is on a lot of stages but on very lengthy stages where you kill a lot of people uh, stealth kill them it counts towards helping you with the grandmaster so you can be sighted i, I believe there's one that was sighted uh, seven times and i still achieved the grandmaster because it is possible depending on the number of people you on the number of stealth kills that that you do so the game is not Unforgiven. Now I can't remember for sure, but the second one, I think you have to literally kill everyone. I can't remember. It's crazy. I, th that's insane. Like th th then again, we're going against the grain here with what being a ninja is all about. You do your mission, but it doesn't mean you go to a village and they have to kill everyone in a, in a freaking village. That's not how a ninja would work. And I cannot. Don't hold my feet to the fire on this one. But I think I recall the second one. To get a grandmaster ahead of kill everyone i know i did not pursue a grandmaster when i played the second one nor did i care much for the game it is not final i will give it another chance in the future but uh, as far as tenshu one it is quite forgiven and if you do your job undetected or if you get detected but kill a lot of people you will get your grandmaster so don't be too hasty on press and start select to exit a level once you are spotted if you are in a stage that you didn't kill a lot of people, a short one, then yes, you might as well. But on a lengthy stage, I'll say if you're close to the end or, or past the midway point, I'll say just go ahead and see because you might surprise yourself at the end and get a Grandmaster ranking. Uh, including here for me on the very last level, I was 100% sure that I wasn't going to get a Grandmaster, and I did. And thank goodness I didn't have to repeat the whole level because it is lengthy, let me tell you. And so that's good. Now, uh, legacy and influence. Now, again, this is the first 3D stealth game ever made, according to the internet. And obviously, it exerted influence on later games, I would say. One of those that come to mind is a very modern game, a very recent game, that would be Sh Sekiro. Sh I believe Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. So, I 
Game of the Year 2019, and it was quite big, and they have said themselves, the developers, I believe, that they have taken, they have taken inspiration from Tenshu. I, I knew that before even that, because when I saw the game, immediately, uh, I think there's the grappling hook in there, and immediately Tenshu came to mind. And that's awesome, and that's a game I'll be playing uh, myself to in the future. I'm looking forward to it. Okay? And finally, I'd like to close the compliment sandwich with a compliment to the uh, developers of this game. They clearly had a vision. They clearly had a lot of passion for what they're doing. And I can tell they were very proud of what they did, and they should, because they achieved uh, something unique, something beautiful, and that is Tenshu. An amazing game, uh, you know, janky or not, it is one of the greatest games I ever played. When I played in, uh, the first time and did the Grandmaster, was, I had a ball. I had, I had the time of my life. The game is excellent, and the developers, they poured their heart and soul into this project, and I really admired what they accomplished here. Uh, and if you were lucky enough to grow up with this game, I can only imagine the amazing times you must have had with it. And congratulations to the uh, developers. They did very well. And anyway, that concludes the compliment sandwich. I hope I didn't offend uh, with the negative part of uh, many Tenshu fans. And I just want to tell you that regardless of what you hear, on if you're watching the 14 plus hour, hour video, uh, that is the whole thing. There'll be a lot of complaining and cussing and hollering and cussing at the game, saying the game's horrible. Don't listen to that. That's just frustration. I love the game. I, I truly do. Otherwise, I wouldn't be playing for the third time or have chosen it as a game for this channel for me to, to do all this work here for nothing because I hate the game. You know, uh, The game is excellent. Don't be put off when you hear me complaining about it. Try for yourself, and if you grew up with this game and you love this game, I'm happy that you did because this must have been an awesome game to have at the time, and I wish I had it uh, as well. And that concludes the compliment sandwich. Thank you for listening. Let's go. All right, folks, CRT Rex here again. It's been a while, but instead of boring you to death with the uh, whole I'm back and this is what happened, blah, 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 uh, just go to the end of the video, the channel talk section, and I'll bore you to death over there. Right now, let's concentrate on 10 shoot. This is what we're doing now. Um, so the TV here, as you... If you watch the hardware showcase, you know what it is. If you haven't, this is a standard 16 by 9 uh, Sony Trinitron uh, with RGB. A bit tough to notice on the uh, on the footage here if you're watching the CRT version of this video because if I if I put this camera on focus and make everything sharp, you get more galore. And more red would be those wavy, weird patterns that you see sometimes when people are, um, they are recording screens, like you know, CRTs or LCDs, it don't matter, they show up. It's a natural pattern, you can see like a mosquito screen in your trailer, or anything of that sort, and you see the, the pattern, billboards and whatnot. Um, so you can even have more array. I think if you see the uh, show, uh, hardware showcase, you can even have more array with the TV off, it doesn't even have to be on. Uh, anyways, uh, as you can see, this is a widescreen set, and Tenshu is not a widescreen game. So will I be stretching 4x3 to 16x9? No, partially. Listen to me. We're going to make this game run widescreen via action replay codes. However, the widescreen only applies to the gameplay itself, which obviously is the part that matters. So you'll be an anamorphic widescreen with an expanded view of view. So true widescreen, obviously, there'll be no stretching. If I just wanted to stretch the image, I would literally do nothing. 
So we're going to watch this game in widescreen, through a widescreen, anamorphic, so the TV does the restretching to be the correct aspect ratio, otherwise otherwise the characters will be squ squashed, sorry. And uh, yeah, let's get it done. Uh, so, the so I'm using the next station. If you haven't seen the hardware showcase, I'm not using a, a, a disc. I'm using X station. So it gets a bit tricky because usually with the ex action replay, you put the disc in, you enter your codes, then you swap the disc. But thankfully, X station has disc swap fun functionality, and it also does have. Uh, okay, let's stop blabbing on here and let's go. So first thing to do, I will try to link this in the description. Let's grab this beautiful controller my favorite digital controller of all time and keep in mind that even though i had a ps1 uh when i was a teenager here and there i mostly did not have one most of the time and i spent most of my time with the ps1 was spent at a friend's house that had it here and there you know but this is my favorite digital pad game pad of all time so no thumbsticks yeah, if you're talking about this takes pretty much the super nintendo obviously uh pad and just improves upon it with the handles and everything even though the super nintendo i love that pad so much um yeah this is an awesome pad so let's go now and do the thing so go to cheat engine here in my case this is what i named it and you press square now that's going to put it on the queue as the x station calls it now we'll press circle to return and i'm going to be playing the american version of tenshu so Obviously, we go to Tenshu, and I press square again, and you notice right there has been added. So let's go ahead and do a full boot queue. And by the way, that never gets tiring to me to, to see the PS1 boot sequence is the best. I love it. God damn goosebumps every time. So anyway, um, <clears throat> this was with a, I didn't have a guide for this. Kind of roughly an idea what you had to do. So I kind of had to try a bunch of stuff one night and just kind of figure out. So this is what worked for me. So I'm going to go to Action Replay version 4.20 US and press cross. U.S. English. Okay, now I'm going to go down to options, cross, code lists, cross, d-pad right, go down to S to Z, that's where tension is going to be, select game, cross, right d-pad, cross, right d-pad, and I'm going to pretty much remove all the cheats because I'm not off after cheats here I'm after the widescreen now when you get this here uh, cheat file widescreen which is here is not going to be here you have to enter the code manually I'll see if I can explain later or something or just link to somewhere so press circle press circle again now you're gonna start game with codes and now on this screen here, that took me a while to figure it out. When this screen pops up, you're going to pretend you're putting a disc in. Open and close. Proceed with cross. And I'll be quiet for the intros.
Excellent. Let's go. Now initially I wasn't going to do the training, which I find a, to be harder than the first stage, to be honest. If, if first stage, if you know where you're going, it's easy enough. So I want to go to training. I was going to avoid it, but you know, why not? I can always cut this if it doesn't turn out good, I reckon. Now you have two characters to choose from. That'll, that'll be Ricky Maru, who is very strong, but a bit on the heavier side. And you have Ayami, who is a lot weaker, but also much quicker than Ricky Maru. I'm used to Ricky Maru. I don't think I ever play with Ayami, but it's something I definitely want to do in the future for the replay value. Lord Gorda expect much of you. The enemy will be skillful and ruthless. You must be prepared physically and spiritually. You must focus, you must train hard, and train well. Very good. As I was saying, this is not a game I would stream, because I'm just not good. I don't think you should be just be good at the game to stream. I think if you're an entertaining person, and engage with your chat. Uh, I'm not a streamer yet. I'm looking into it. Um, I don't think you need to be necessarily awesome in the game, although it does help a bit. Okay. So the first guys here are usually not a problem whatsoever. It's just that area there. That is a pain in the ass for me. I cannot remember how how G Star did it, to be honest, or other people I've seen playing this game. Look at them. The, the environment is beautiful. It's very Japanese. That's why I built the shoji you see on the background crudely. Uh, I must admit, crudely built shoji, but it's my first one and probably the last. But it, you know, it, it does the job to set an atmosphere here. And as for the leaves here, this. Please don't turn around, I will shut. There we go. Uh, this, this game has a few uh, like fall forest inspired level it is in fact my favorite because i love fall more than anything it's my favorite season of the year and i love whenever i play in places that have such uh such atmosphere like the wii mario kart mario kart wii i love the fall stage i just love fall such a great time uh in real life here right now is not fall and we're coming out of winter going into spring now nah, wait The music is awesome, very unique. Uh, they put a lot of work into this game, that's for sure. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hat popping. Damn it. All right, not sure what's going on here. Let me see what you do. I I know it looks like I'm insisting on the same strategy and it's not working. Yeah, because that guy is, is maybe kill this guy and then run for the other one. Yeah, I, th I think so. Maybe the other guy is spotting me. Yeah, see, right now I could I could kill him. Let's see. Come on, you bastard! Is he gonna turn? Go. <laughs> Why would you do such thing? Rick? No, 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 no! Stop! Stop with the pageantry, man! The guy's gonna turn around. We got him. Oh my god, my heart is racing. So that was... What the fuck? Somebody said something. That was the right attitude right there. Let's go. Don't spot me, you bastard. I think that's a Grandmaster, finally. Not too bad. If this bastard doesn't turn around like he did last time... Son of a bitch. Is gonna turn, isn't it? <clears throat> Die! Pop the head out! Get, come on! Okay, Lord Gurda, Gurda should be happy. Excellent! You will bring me great honor. And there it is. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, and you get, if you can see there, right next to 540, you can see there's some. Kunai's, I, I think they're called, shining, you know, like Scorpion's weapon. 
and I think once once you get, from what I understand, once you get Grandmaster and in a stage, and that includes a training, I believe, based on what I'm seeing here, you will get a reward, okay? In the form of a new weapon in the shop. What's the shop? We'll see. Uh, you'll come up before you start in a stage. You're gonna have a shop where you can buy things and weapons. Honestly, and I, I don't fuck with it too much. I pretty much beat the game on Grandmaster, usually with that. If I buy anything, it'll be a shuriken, the ninja star for some dog that's pissed me off because they get killed with one hit if you're using the shuriken. Uh, but, and health potion, I'd say the last stage, is, it's horrific, it's hard. This game, to get Grandmaster, is gonna get hard. It's gonna get a bit crazy. For a regular Joe, at least, you know? Uh, anyways, you might have noticed a little uh, jug right there, a little bottle with the with the kanji written on it, and that's because I'm throwing uh, some drinking into the mix <clears throat> uh, to celebrate getting a grandmaster in any stage. I'm gonna enjoy some sake while I talk to you. Again, you can you feel free to fast forward. Now I know for a fact that YouTube is fucking up my uh, chapters. They one day just stopped working gradually, one video was gone, another video without me changing anything in the description. In the description. So YouTube is just fucking up with my uh, chapters, there's nothing I can do. So to uh, remediate that, to help out a, a bit if you want to skip, I put all the timestamps in every video I ever made up top. So all you have to do is take a look, look at the description if you want to skip on forward. So now, Saki, one lie to you. I. Uh, Again, I'll talk about those things in the channel talk section if you're interested interested in it. In it. Jesus. Uh, I, uh, it took me a while to get this uh, recording done. Uh, man, a lot of problems. Hardware problems, uh, weather problems, all sorts of crap happened, you know? I took it easy, admittedly, at first, after I did my Castlevania video. But uh, it took me forever. So why I'm telling all, all this is because I drank a lot, a lot of the sake already, trying to, <laughs> trying to record. So the sake of today, the drink of today, is uh, Sawanotsuru. Is uh, probably I, you know, flourish the pronunciation there a little bit, but probably not correct. Uh, Sawanotsuru, I would say normally, and it's a pretty good sake. You know, it's, it's cheap. I won't lie to you. I didn't buy because I know anything about sake. I'm pretty much a whiskey and beer drink drinker. If you ask me about whiskey, I know a tiny bit. Uh, I like vodka, I like rum, everything neat. Uh, but sake, you know what? I liked it. It was nice. Uh, this bottle's almost over, but if there's any, if I run out, I'll go get more. Okay. So let me put this out here. the bottle, the refined Japanese sake, Sawanotsuru. Yeah. I believe the W in Japanese is like a U sound like for us because some languages they have like a German, it's sort of like a V sound, you know, equivalent of us. I don't, for us, anyway, so let's get this, uh, this sake poured, poured in this, this beautiful fancy jug here. Bought for the occasion, yes, I did not have those things before. And I'm just gonna pour the rest of it here. And this will be my little ritual. Uh, after I get a Grandmaster, I'm gonna have some sake. Obviously, I'm gonna cut this out of the uh, no commentary version. Uh, most of it, at least. Maybe just show the part that I drink the sake. And there we go. Just a half because there's not a lot left here. Damn it. Cheers. Mm. I do love me my alcohol. Mm-hmm. Very nice, very nice sake. It's a very nice drink. It's, it's good quality. I appear to have something floating around in it though. Let me see. I don't know, some kind of impurity. What in the world? Oh, it's a piece of wood. Yeah, let's get that out of here. Thanks. Ah, this is good. This is good. Uh, first stage is, is great. 
was a lot of fun. But then behold, lo and behold, it'll come the second stage, which is the one that usually kicks my ass seven ways a Sunday. It's just horrific. And last time I came here to try to record this while the equipment was working, I believe I spent about an hour and a half getting, you know, destroyed by the stage pretty much. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. Bought it from Amazon. The shop was very good. It was shipped by the shop themselves instead of Amazon. Uh, very quickly and very good quality sake. I love it and I'll be buying more of it despite not, uh, even if I'm not using it on a gameplay, on any playthroughs, or long plays, whatever you want to call it. Mm. I'm just gonna grab a vape here real quick and we're gonna jump off over to the first stage. Let's quit. Let's go, it officially begin, begins, the training time is over, and the heartache and series of failures is about to begin, but we will get there eventually, goddamn leaves, we'll get there eventually. So let's go. And once again, I'll be picking Rick and Maru throughout this whole playthrough. And this is the first level, Punish the Evil Merchant. And it's, uh, most of the levels have been grandmastered already. Uh, it doesn't matter, I'll do it again for the video, obviously. I'll be quiet for this. Wealth is one thing, power and status is another. Many in the merchant class have become rich, but the merchant class is a large step below nobility. Merchants, no matter how wealthy, cannot become samurai. This caused many merchants to lust for the power they were officially denied, few more so than a man named Ichigoya. Ichigoya began his career as an honest trader, but before long his rivals began to turn up dead, and Ichigoya expanded into protection, loan sharking, and gambling. His methods are brutal his profit fast. If arrested, Ichigoya would simply bribe his way free. You must make him pay for his crimes with his life. There we go. Now, before starting the first level, let's take a look at the shop here. And I was correct. There it is, the kunai. Uh, I was under, I, I did not know that I had not Grandmaster the training level and therefore that is new there. And there's one missing because I, I have not yet grandmastered the last level. I have done previously on a different memory card, which it's whereabouts, I have no idea of its whereabouts, but uh, we will get there. See, is the last slot there on that thing that he used for training? I don't know what that's called. I'm not well versed in the martial arts in general, to be honest, or much of anything really. Uh, but let's take a look at a shop here and right off the bat, I tell you again that I usually don't waste any time with it. It can be fun. Another thing I find a bit odd with this game is that at first I was happy to use the weapons just for the sake of, you know, fun. I'm saying I want to see what this does and what that does and, and, and this and that. And I noticed once I died and I did not recover because they have we those weapons or some of them uh, spread throughout the stages. So you can recover them and they go to the shop. So the shop doesn't always have that in inventory. You build a shop. The shop is not really a shop, it looks like. It's your own arsenal that you accumulate over uh, your journeys. Uh, so it's not really a shop, really. Even though it acts like one, pretty much in video game terms. But as you've seen in the cutscene, Rick and Maru is looking around. This seems to be his own personal arsenal of weapons. So if you already use all the shurikens, and again, I could be wrong about all this, I could be wrong about anything, but from what I understood of this game is that if you're using the shurikens, right now I have 32. Let's say I take 10 of them here and I die. 
or you know or something uh, they're not replenished. I have to get them within the stages themselves, if that makes any sense. And that really put me off using anything because I tend to be the sort of pre pre preservationist. You know, I'm the kind of guy, right or wrong, I'm the kind of guy who tends to end up with a, a lot of ammo in the end of a Resident Evil run or something. I'm, I'm just, if there's a way to preserve, I'm kind of stingy and I tr tend to preserve things. And that kind of takes away the fun a lot because I would like to use some of those weapons just for fun to see what they do and you know it, it doesn't it doesn't work that way anyways weaponry so you got here the shuriken which if I am to get anything that's probably going to be it uh, and that is like throwing the uh, grappling hook but you'd be throwing a shuriken aiming at an enemy and I, I strongly suggest you keep that to dogs don't bother with the cats. There are cats in this game that show up every now and then. They're pretty much invincible. They're god cats. You can't kill them. They're kind of like a prop, but they spot you and they make a lot of, you know, sounds, horrible sounds. Meowing and shit. Uh, so the shuriken is use useful for dogs, which sometimes are a bit tricky to kill. And now the other one that I might... I uh, might use is the healing potion because it restores health so sometimes let's say the last stage is very long and you go against the last boss who can deal a lot of damage and you really don't want to die so you, you have a healing potion you bring it but again if you die your healing potion is gone forever you have to replenish by playing in other stages and knowing where they are so it is useful to have a healing potion uh, in a stage or something and there, sometimes there's a boss battle you can you can get a healing potion from a boss now here's the the thing though uh, Onikage I think is his name he can actually use uh, healing potions himself and replenish his own uh, life bar kind of like if you ever play Killer Instinct uh, Idol he if you leave him alone uh, he will recover his energy it's, it's pretty annoying Caltrops, uh, scatter to injure, injure pursuers. By then you lost your Grandmaster. My interest in this game right now, and usually is to have the Grandmaster. So Caltrops for me, I don't see the use because if they're after me, I've already been spotted. Now the grenade can be useful. You can have an enemy that's far away or immediately after a long jump, and it's kind of risky. It's too far away to get a him. And they use it uh, on the demo as well, so it could be useful. Then you have the smoke bomb, generate smoke job skewer and confuse. I never used it, but it's pretty much self-explanatory. Mine explodes when stepped on. I can see maybe throwing that at uh, someone's path, perhaps. Uh, I can see if you master any of those weapons, that would be quite useful, to be honest with you. I just personally don't uh, have any use for them as much. Poison Rice. The first time I grandmastered this game, I have used Poison Rice. I forgot the, the one stage with the temple and the guy with a number six or something on his belly, the really weirdo that eats a stone or something, and you have to jump on top of the statue. I, I used to use at the entrance of that and put a Poison Rice, and the guy would go and eat it and die. But this last time I did Grandmaster, I did not use it, so I probably won't use it again. Colored Rice uses a trail marker. I don't know. Why? I'm sure it has its use, but I haven't found any. Now, those weapons here, you get with Grandmastering things. So you have the Super Shuriken, fights eight fires, eight Shuriken simultaneously. I never use those. That's especially those, because if you use one, you have to Grandmaster the stage again, I guess. You get another one. I just don't bother with it. Those things, they look like candy bars to me, but they're sc scrolls. So instantly move along this. This is very special weaponry. I have not yet. Brief fire. Uh, boost defense. Offense and defense. Offense and defense. Uh, sleeping gas. Induces sleep. Uh, ninja armor. Reduces the damage of an enemy attack by 30%. Maybe useful for the last boss. Uh, shadow decoy. Creates an attention getting decoy. Never used it. I don't know if it's a duck or something. Resurrection Leaf automatically restores health upon death. Now, this could be good for the last boss, because it can be a pain in the ass. Uh, Chameleon Spell temporarily disguises you as an enemy. 
sounds very interesting. And there's the bound su summons a, an attack dog. I wonder if he's the dog for the intro. And and that's it pretty much. Uh, I think this one is interesting, but however, I don't want to do that. I, I might use a healing potion, uh, but I think that using this here, for example, is kind of a crutch. You, you died, and you know, on on this instant here, do, doing Grandmaster, I don't think I want to do that. So we're gonna go with nothing. Punish the evil merchant. Avoid the main gate. Use the grappling hook. Never harm the innocent. Now, never harm the innocent. They are expectators, civilians walking around. They usually scream and and run away, and you don't want to kill them. Now, this stage here, I'm I'm not gonna say it's easy. It's easy to know where you go once you know where you, where to go, but I can still fail and probably will fail here at the last bit. So you want to go all the way. This. There's a guy here that he has spotted me before. Uh, being on the roof is no guarantee that you're not gonna be spotted. I've, I've been spotted before several times on the roof. Sometimes there's no rhyme or reason for you to be being sighted. Uh, so you go this way and you wanna go to that uh, entrance right there. Sometimes there's a cat, sometimes there's a guy, and sometimes, as you see now, there's nothing. And immediately coming down here, there's a hole, and once you do, you'll be introduced to uh, Echigoya, who is a sexual deviant harassing people. I see. Come on, come on. <laughs> what? Who are you? I'm here to avenge all the innocent people you've hurt. Somebody help! Get him! Get him! It looks like you chose the wrong party to crash. My business is with Echigoya. Step aside, or I will have to kill you. Okay, with this guy immediately hold down and square. And then start attacking him. Now, this game, like I said, is janky. So I'm just holding back and square, but I want to get him away from the door. Oh my goodness, I No! Echigoya, where have you hidden? Now, that crazy geisha there, she, she, she got on the way, crazy bimbo, got on the way in the middle of a fight, pretty goddamn annoying, if you ask me. I don't know if that messes up. Look at that. I think somebody spotted a dead body. Now there's a guy here sometimes. Look, I see something. Is that a... Yeah, there you go. I don't know if you can see, yeah, that guy there. Uh, left, left corner, he has spotted me here before. I will wait for him to go away, thank you very much. Now you wanna come this way here look around sometimes there's a dog in here I've been spotted here Echigoya is right there but you don't want to be spotted right so let's see I know there's a guy here I hear it it's 53 where is he No fucking way. If I can just come down here, that'll be a first. Fuck it, let's go. It looks like I can just walk in. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get away! Help me, somebody! Your bodyguards are dead. And you are next. Now, he has a shitty ass pistol, pepper box pistol, I think, from that era but he can st still do some damage. Sideways slash. Oh my god. My money. My money. Your greed sickens me. I hope your death is a lesson to others. And there you go, beautiful. But again, this stage is not very hard when you know where to go. Now, 
As you see there, I, I came off the roof and went straight up to the uh, room or the building where Echigoya was located, and that is extremely rare. Usually, when, as you saw me as I was jumping off that uh, ledge, usually there's a guy to the left, there's a dog to the right, and straight ahead there's another guy patrolling. I don't know what happened, I think just a combination of the right, the, not having a dog and the other guys being away, very far away, which I could see by the 30. At first it was 53, their location, then went down to 30. And then I kind of risked it, risked it and went inside. But a lot of times you think the coast is clear, you jump down from your roof, and boom, there's a son bitch in there looking right at you. And you go, right! Or somebody spot, spots you. It's fucking annoying. But not this time. No way, Jose. So let's go ahead and have a little celebratory sake here. Once again, Sawanotsuru. Beautiful stuff. There we are. Cheers. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. It's sake in my tummy. Good stuff. It's so nice. Mm. Mm. I absolutely need this boost right now because the next stage, that's when I'm going to suffer. Ah, man, prepare for hell. Unless I edit it all out. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do, but usually it's hell. I get screwed on that stage big time. It's hard. There's guys jumping up and down the roofs. There's, they're fast. The, uh, the randomization is pretty, it's kind of all over the place, you know. It's tough, it's tough. Uh, but it's nothing compared to the other ones. Well, it is something. I do, I, I have a problem with the second one. There's another one that is worse. Well, that's it, let's see how we do. Let me just have a little vape here. A large and well-organized group of outlaws intends to attack Lord Goda's territory. You have stolen a copy of their plans. If these plans are delivered to Lord Goda, his forces will crush the outlaws at little cost. Without the plans, Lord Goda faces a brutal fight. The enemy has sent a group of ninja to the town outside your Lord's castle to stop you from delivering the plans. Elude or destroy these enemies and get the plans to Lord Goda. I sure will. Lord Goda. You says it weird. It's a weird name anyways. Goda. Goda. Lord Dutch Cheese. Gouda. Lord Gouda. I sense danger. I'd best hurry. How about you sense the other fucking asshole that was on the roof that one time, Rick? How about you sense that shit? How about you jump on the roof like you did just now consistently? How about that one? How about that fucking curveball I'm throwing at you? Huh? You fucking asshole. There we go. The, the madness continues. Is that his arm? I think it was. So just lay it here. Okay, this is the, uh, what I call the usual usual arrangement of enemies. Stops here, and she comes this way, and I kind of drop down, you know, and cut her freaking head out, pop, pop out, no, okay, fine. And then I go this way, and there we go, yeah. Yeah, when there's nobody around, Rick, Rick, Rick and Maru is the master of climbing on things. As soon as you throw danger into the mix, it's over. Let's murder those fucks and let's murder them mercilessly. Okay, it's here, right? Yep, that's the dog in there, of course, is. 
Yeah, it's the, I think it's the usual random out. This dog here is a mixed bag. Die. Fuck. What are you doing, Rick? Again, they got, the bullshit starts with this asshole. Why are you doing the long jump? How come when I want to do the long jump, you don't actually fucking do it? And the le Oh my god, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that shit? She was jumping around and nearly got sighted again. This game is insane. It's criminal. Go. Oh, she's gonna turn around, isn't she? What the fuck? Come on, Mark. Did you see it? Oh. Why are you doing the long jump, you sack of crap? What the hell's going on here? Am I, 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 I'm, I don't even know where I'm going here. Uh, look at this! Oh my God, it's, it's just insanity. It's insanity. It's insanity. Go. Go, 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 go. And stop. Oh no, the cat. Oh my god, I don't like the cat in there, but you know, it might, it might be it might be even better. Oh. Who the fuck saw me here? This... Go. And go. Go. Go, 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 go. The cat, dude, the cat! this lady. Go forward. Go forward. Go. Stop. God damn it, please let this be it, man. My heart is actually beating fast. I'm, I'm, okay. Be very fucking quiet. Let's go. Now, between me getting out of my own private hell here and victory, what the fuck is happening? Why, why is there somebody so fucking close here? Okay. All that needs to happen is that insane old insane old style guy there not lose it and this time i'm gonna wait here because the game threw me a curveball last time that he came all the way here and he never does and you see his true form right now which he stands on the other side of the goddamn bridge and he goes the other side and it's still very fucking difficult but this time i'm waiting right here and making sure this piece of shit motherfucker doesn't come all the way here and it looks like i'm i'm fine there you go. Now look at this guy's pattern. Is it facing you or back? Like what the fuck is even this shit? Like there. He has seen me before doing that pattern. So I'm gonna wait for him to go that way, like the last walk that he did there, and I'm gonna go forward. And hope this piece of shit doesn't turn around. See, I thought one time that that was him not looking at me. Go, 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 don't fuck around, go. Oh my god, please let this be it. Please forgive my late arrival. No, no. You have done well. Lord Gorda is waiting for you. Come. Give me that fucking sake immediately. Well fucking deserved. That was hell. That was fucking hell. My goodness. Cheers. Mm. So after all this, you get an idea of what what's all about. It's about a lot of failing, a lot of curveballs thrown at you, and you just doing the best that you can to avoid all the shit that's being hurled at you. That's this game in a nutshell, Grand Mastering.
I mean, if you help with a master ninja and the other rank, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm going for the master rank, the grandmaster, uh, because it, I don't know, just felt like something I wanted to do again on camera, but now I'm not sure. The video's already, this is, this is already an hour and 53 minutes long. Bring some more to suck it here. Cheers. Mmm. Keeps me going. <coughs> Have a smoke here. So yeah, there's a, a lot of times the stage will change the arrangements and location of the enemies, and there is a, a certain number. It's not, it's not like um, what do you call unlimited? You know, it's not like an unlimited number of an infinite. Sorry, an infinite number of arrangements that they throw at you. Uh, generate, yeah, generating the stage, I'll say, but for enemies. You know, like you have a game that automatically generates uh, a world for you. For example, uh, Don't Start Together, that kind of stuff. Uh, not that I ever played, but I was watching a video. Another one would be Silent Hill, Book of Memories. Don't play that garbage, it's complete ass. Uh, play real Silent Hill games. I'll do what you want, but uh, that's my recommendation. I'm not never recommend. I wouldn't recommend that. I would rather play the stage here for uh, 24 hours and having my Grandmaster rankings being taken away from me than playing 10 minutes of Silent Hill Book of Memories. That's my opinion on that goddamn game. Mobile crap put into a, a, a portable. Anyways, I go, I'm going off the rails here. So yeah, they changed the arrangements, uh, uh, the arrangement of the enemies, the location, everything. So you gotta, after a while of obviously failing or succeeding at lesser ranks, uh, you will become familiar with it somewhat. But this game is like playing a musical instrument. If you step away for too long, when you get back into it, you find yourself being very rusty. And it's not every game like that. I can go right now to play Splatterhouse and do just fine. I was playing Donkey Kong Country the other day, which will be the, hopefully the next video I make, and uh, cleared in one sitting, played very well, familiar with the game. And this one is not like this. If you don't play the game, this game regularly, or if you spend a very long time away, you will forget the enemy locations, you will forget the arrangements, and you will get fucked. Just simple as that, if you're going for the Grandmaster Rankin, that is. I mean, I could have technically just ran through town, terrorizing everyone, killing the innocent, you know, wreaking havoc and get you the end goal, you will pass the stage with a thug ranking. So it's possible to be the game, but there's no point of doing that. The whole point of the game is to act like a ninja who has infinite lives and keeps coming back. If you, you know, if you want to go the realistic route, you would have permadeath, just one life and that's it. That's, you know, ninjas, we're not cats with nine lives, you know? You know in Brazil, cats have seven lives? Yeah, they got kind of, you know, fucked over on that one, over there for some reason. <laughs> it's funny how folklore is, uh, superstitions. So we got a candy bar, looks like Kit Kat, from the looks of it. I'm kidding, it's a scroll, don't know what it does, don't care, let's move on. Uh, God, no, we're not retrying, we're going to next, thank you. One of Lord Goda's ninja was captured while undercover in a hostile territory. The missing ninja is in a torture chamber deep under a dangerous forest. With orders to immediately free the captive, Lord Goda has released you from the ninja code, which forbids rescues. You must free the captive, and quickly. Ah, fuck off. I would like to have the arrange arrangement with the dog, the wolf, at the beginning. That is the best. That's the one I know the most. Why can't I have it back? Because I fucked up. Please give me that ar arrangement back. 
Don't spot me, please. It's here. Did I get it? I think that's the one. This is the one. Let's get let's get this done, please, for the love of God. Yes, this is my favorite. I hate it. I hate those animations. I don't like it. And then here. There's a stationary this everything makes sense in this one. Make sure I'm not visible. Yeah, this one, everything makes sense for me. Though you can you can still get spotted here, so be very careful. Yeah, that, that should be fine. This guy, he likes to do the little turn on the catwalk, though. You gotta be very, you gotta be quick. As soon as he's turning, look at him. You son of a bitch. You're gonna die, you're gonna die horribly. Okay, and then the other one is this fella over here. And for some reason, Rick refuses uh, man, to, to hug the wall like he usually does. There you go. Go. Gotcha. This is looking a little better. Is there anybody here? I can't remember. I don't want to fuck with it. Let's go. However, that... I can't remember this if... No, okay. However, there's still the guy at the gate. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then he'll come, and then we'll get him. Yes. I be I'm very careful here. Should not press a direction one single direction in a row because you know that Ricky Ricky Maru here likes to do his little dash when you don't want to. Okay, so here is a guy right here, right? Where is it? No, wait wait for him to come all the way here. I'm not running this long. I'm sorry y'all, I'm gonna wait here. It's just a lot easier when he's here. He'll turn, he'll come around and he'll come right here on this spot. We're gonna back, back off a little bit and just kind of wait. He'll show up here and it's a lot easier. I don't want to risk it. Obviously, I've been doing this stage for a while now, getting my, getting my ass handed to me. And I've had, I stutter. I don't even know what to say. It's been hours on this stage. So I need to, I need to get this done. He'll come here. Don't worry about it. Although I'm getting a bit worried now. What the hell's going on here? What the hell's going on? Why is it taking so long? Yeah, he shows up here, right? There he is. 
Fuck you. Okay, it's good. Pick it up. You need all the health of those bosses. I'm terrible at the bear and the, the other feller. Bit nervous here. Where am I going? Oh, is the you know is the thing now, isn't it? See? Yeah, it's the gate guy. Oh my god. Damn it, do I hate that guy? What am I doing? What's going on here? I'm going to see now there for a minute. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, no, it is. <gasps> Die. Well, that's one more person for the collection. Let's see, if I get sighted by the gate guy, I'll kill him. And then try to come back and rack up some, some more kills. I want to really be as far away as possible. I got him. Okay, this has to be my chance. I'm gonna track the bear here. Do the dash, you little fuck. Man, th this, this is it. They're coming. Let's go. No. Get out, Rick. Fuck. This is such a no. You cannot throw that away. Go, go. Don't dash. Where is he? Who spotted me? Rick is so slow that he... Is that a dad? his dad but who the fuck spotted me here man somebody spotted me somebody went what let's go fucking ridiculous fucking ridiculous you do everything right and still I'm not gonna get a grandmaster because of that I'm in the middle of a fight with a bear and some guy unknown there's nobody there what what is this game on about sometimes Drink the potion, I'll fuck around. It's gonna be a master ninja, isn't it? Oh my god. Okay. So, the mice come out to play. That means you get to play too. Fuck you, you piece of shit. Take the bombs. And then just fuck him up. You can't play no more. Die in peace, you misguided soul. <laughs> I must say. I'm impressed. Who's that? I am Monikari. I shall eventually come for Koda and your hands. Until then, become a more worthy opponent for me. <laughs> you took your time getting here. I beg your pardon? I guess you deserve a thank you this time. Yeah!
Oh my God. Yep. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus and baby Jesus. Thank you, Lord in heaven. Thank you so much. I can't believe it. I thought because during that fight with a bear, as you notice there, some guy went, what? Some non-existent guy went, what? Like, where was that? I killed everyone, you know? And then the bear took a few swings at me there and kind of, you know, got to me quite well. But uh, I think the bomb there at the end, and the bomb, my God, was that helpful for that boss because his third strike is what was getting me because you block, block, and then he's got that long range when it's my time to attack. And I, I wouldn't understand what was going on. Uh, this has been completely hell, com complete hell on earth. This has been terrible, and I sure as hell hope that the next levels, I know, I know there'll be problems in the future, but this is too much. I spent too much time on this level, to be honest. Yeah, and I gotta mention about Ayami's attitude is pretty. <laughs> and why was thank you quoted? What is that? It's just, uh, I don't know. I'm just happy I fit. Uh, it's, th that's it, the level's done. Let's get the fuck out. All right, next. Oh, nope, Max my ass. Let's have some sake, I almost forgot. My goodness, is this well-deserved. Mm hmm. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Excellent. Excellent. I can't remember what level five, sorry, four is. It's hard to believe that I'm still on level four. Years of bloody civil war have ended in a fragile truce. It is a time of peace, but the threat of attack is constant. Death and destruction is the price for complacency. Ever vigilant, Lord Goda sent you to spy on suspicious movement in a potentially hostile neighboring territory. Lord Goda's worst fears are true. This neighbor intends to attack with an army of 20,000 men. Lord Goda must be informed. You rush back towards his territory under the cover of darkness. Near the border, you come across an enemy checkpoint. There is no way around it. You must get through the checkpoint and deliver your report. Please stop right where you are. You seem to be in great haste for such a late hour. Where are you going? The night is no time for a woman to be training. Stand aside. The only way across this checkpoint is through me. Now, why don't you be a good little boy and tell me where you're going and why? You just have to block her and then kind of advance a little. Oh no. Now, when you get behind her like this, as usual with Tenshu, you know, that was my problem with Tenshu too. If you get. Okay. I have failed. You are a skilled and honorable opponent. It is a shame that fate denied you the chance to be a happy, ordinary woman. All I need to do is make it to the other side. <coughs> okay. And by the what? Immediately we know that there's a guy right here. Okay, this one. Man has x-ray vision. So, let's try to... 
There we go. Okay. So they changed the arrangement here a little bit. So the rules of old of uh, my last playthroughs, uh, well, my last attempts at completing the stage do not apply here because there's no longer a guy in there and I don't know if there's going to be a guy down here. So we can press on forward. I think that the uh, last arrangement of enemies was probably the worst. Nice. Fuck you. Teabag this motherfucker. Teabag this piece of shit. You f uh, he, he had a little turn. Again. Oh my goodness, no. Okay. It's been so long since I had this arrangement, I, I became unfamiliar with it. But there you go, there's one guy, and we he's stationary, which is always the best. And we can't, can't wait for him to just turn around. I can't tell if he's facing me. No, he wouldn't. This is very hard to see here. I'm having a, a hard time seeing him, if he's facing me or the other way. Okay, go. Bitch. This guy's stationary as well. We're gonna wait right here. There's no reason to go forward and risk anything. I'm gonna wait for him to turn around and then fuck him up. Whenever you're ready, buddy. Ugh. He on and all those shit directions, apparently. There it is. Kill him. I got spotted over. All right. Okay. Keep going. I, I don't know who's seen him, but... And I got spotted. See, this game, you can do everything perfectly, and it doesn't matter. Who spotted me? Please tell me who the fuck spotted me and how. Who? 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 There's nobody here. There's fucking nobody here. Fuck you, game. Okay, let, let's press on forward. If I'm spotted one once, I'm gonna... I'm gonna push on forward here. Okay. I think the guy's under me. He fell. Sometimes they fall. By now, I don't know who's seeing me here. Oh, it's him. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna wait for him to completely turn around, and then I'm gonna make a dash to kill him because he's a piece of shit. And I wonder if he's, he was the one that spotted me. No, I will take nothing but him turning completely around. It's a long way. It's a long way. Do it. Ugh, man. Do it, buddy. Come on. There we go. Okay. And there's another one. Okay, but I still run the risk of being seen from the left. Go, 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 get out, get out, you can't stay, there we go, that's good. You can stay on, on that uh, yellow warning for too long, you, you will get spotted. I want to know who the fuck seen me here. I got spotted here! Come off it! How? Look at this. What is this nonsense? I want to see it. Where? Somebody's shooting. 
Where? Where, buddy? There's a guy shooting at me. From where? I can't even... Look at who spotted me. Look at this. L let's go. Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look how demented this game is. That fucker spotted me. That guy spotted me. Oh, and now he stopped spotting me, by the way. Incidentally. He just... Uh... This is... Fuck you. Take the stab of the ages. You son of a bitch. God damn it! It's so fucked up. It's so fucked up this game. It's like, it's, it's fucking insane. It is fucking insane, buddy. Right here, okay. And then Rick goes on to do the shenanigans. Like, what the fuck? What the? What the fuck are you doing, Rick? What are you doing? What are you fucking doing? God damn it! What are you doing? What was that? The controls are fucked. It's horrible. You want to do something you can? The guy feels like he weighs 300 million pounds. It's fucking horrible. I'm going to push on. I'm going to kill everyone here. Then I'm going to explore the whole stage killing everyone. I've been spotted twice already. Been super fucking careful. Like what the fuck? It's nuts. It's fucking insane. The guy spotted me from down in the river while I was all the way up in the mountain. Come off it, and then when I go closer to him, he spots seeing me. He stops seeing me. Come off it. It's bullshit. Nonsense. I'm gonna try to kill as many people as I can here to see if I can fucking make something out of this fucking disaster. Okay, there's somebody here. Let's take a look. I'm gonna push on. I'm gonna try to... Man. Oh, the, I see him. I see the guy. Okay, I'm gonna go try to go behind this tree here. Okay, there we go. And I, I just, just making sure I don't go up there. Uh, kill him. Ah ha ha, there was a guy behind him. Don't you know, come off it. Okay, you come here. You can't see me. You can't see me, you piece of shit. Now, did this spot me or not? Where are Holy you? shit. Okay, now there's gonna be two guys here. Is one of them gonna go away? What a situation. But if I can pull this off, that's two more bodies for the count, you know? I'm gonna go like this way. There we go. Ugh. Double trouble over here. So you gotta you gotta wait until it's they coincide the, their positions so they can see you. Very tough. And if Rick and Rick and Murray decide to do the animation thing, you gotta give this lash. And if you decide to do the animation thing and it takes forever, you fucked. The next one could be it. Uh, one on the left is a rebel. Don't wanna do it. This might take a while. This might take a while. Okay, 
Come on, one more. Oh, man. This is so dumb. Fucking hell. The odds are small. The odds are stacked against me. I'm gonna go this way. Fuck you. You mongoloids, you bastards. Okay. Let's. Yeah, but you, you can come here and everything go to shit, you know? Come on. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Turn around, sack of shit. Okay, it's gotta be here. Now remember, any time you go make your move, it's a gamble. It is a gamble because it can turn around at any time, but let's see. Gotcha. Okay, this area is quite difficult. I will try to go... Oh yeah, I got spotted there before, eh? for no reason. It was horrible. Okay. There's a... That's a dog. Yeah. Wolf, whatever. Very glad you wanted that. He goes all the way down there. Oh, man. Look at this mess. This is fucking horrible. <laughs> fucking dog from hell, hellhound! <laughs> My god, man. Shit, come here, you mongrel. <clears throat> God damn it, you son of a bitch. Son of a fucking bitch. There's no way I can... Oh. How the fuck... Did you see that situation? Did you... Did you take a look at the mass that was down there? Oh, and this guy, I thought he was stationary. Look at him. Look at this now. Look at the mass. Hey! He got spooked by who? Please tell me. Get away, get away from me, you fucking ghoul. Go to hell. It's fucking nearly impossible, this game. It's... I don't remember being this fucking... And it's here. See, it's such, such a shame if I wasn't spotted. This is it. This is the last... Uh, holdout. It's right here. Go. Nice, nice. Yeah, it is. Then it, just people all over the place. It's fucking horrific. Look at this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just go. Just fucking go. Just fight things for what? Please forgive my immature sister for her rudeness at the gate. Your sister was a brave woman. I am in a hurry to return to my master. I ask that you let me pass. Like you, I also answer to a higher authority. My orders are to detain you. I am Senjiro Akechi, master of Myojin Soga style swordsmanship. Let us settle this with nobility and honor. 
In the name of the Azuma Ninja Clan, I fully accept your challenge. Commence. Commence. Now, believe it or not, the, the henchmen, oh no, 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 this is a horrible situation. Believe it or not, the guy shooting arrows, hit him. The guy is literally helping me. There we go. Oh, it is an honor to be defeated by someone as skilled as you. You are a master swordsman and an honorable man. It is a shame we could not fight as allies. Look at that guy. Yeah, probably a master ninja. Oh, what? What? I'll fucking take it. Now this is a pleasant surprise. I didn't expect to get Grandmaster, but that goes to show. Let me, let me take a look at the numbers here. Uh, first of all, I'm happy as I can be. This is this level is breaking me spiritually, mentally, and and physically, quite frankly, because I've been sitting my ass here on fuck on this hard seat, and my neck is fucking killing me. Let me tell you, I'm so fucking happy with this. This is this is crazy. Okay, so I got. 14 undetected kills. I was spotted six times, motherfucker, six times. And you, uh, you can still make Grandmaster, but you have to kill a shit ton of enemies, a shit ton of undetected. I didn't expect it, though, to be honest. See, I had a half a mind to press start and select and get the fuck out, as I've done a, you know, a gazillion times before it is uh, in other failure, you know, failed ventures. Ventures or something. Yeah, I'm stuttering. I don't. E I don't even know what to tell you. This was unexpected, but I'm quite happy. Thank Christ. But I'm moving at an average of four freaking hours here to get, you know, a couple of levels in. It's been horrific. But uh, that's the Grandmaster. Definitely, probably the. Dirtiest, filthiest Grandmaster I have ever gotten in this game. By far. I've never been surprised, as surprised as, uh, for a Grandmaster ranking as I have been with this one here. Uh, definitely the filthiest. Uh, may I suggest you just watch. If you're trying to beat this level and you're trying to, you know, you're coming here to see uh, how it's done, I would I would say try G-Star. But it, listen, if you're following this, you're watching, you're already here. If you get spotted a couple of times in the stage, this stage seems to be a little more lenient. So don't panic. I mean, you can always restart, but you can always not panic and just go ahead and, and kill as many enemies as you can undetected. You know? And there you go. It pays off to not give up sometimes. Okay? Uh, all right. Following his death, Ichigoya's ledgers were thoroughly examined. The investigation revealed a link between the merchant and a man called Kataoka, Lord Goda's finance minister. Kataoka is abusing his position, accepting bribes in return for assigning city construction projects and similar favors. Kataoka happens to be the son-in-law of Sekia, one of Lord Goda's most trusted advisors. Lord Goda knows the truth and could have Kataoka arrested, but does not want to bring unbearable shame on Sekia. Understanding his master's dilemma, Sekia has decided to resolve the matter himself and orders you to execute the corrupt finance minister. Okay, I'm gonna use the opportunity here to talk and have a bite. I think it's funny, uh, story-wise how things you should be. Yeah? Sekia d decides to take matter into his own hands and, and do the right thing, which is killing Karaoka. But except he's not. I am, as Ricky Maru. So Lord Gota, Sekia, all those people, they, they don't do shit. They send you to do their, their dirty work. And 
Yeah, that's what a ninja is supposed to do, I suppose. They're, they're like spies, you know, they get the <clears throat> kind of like the old time CIA sort of thing, you know, and yeah, I, but it still was funny, you know, they don't get to do shit. I'm, I'm glad we don't leave for most part in the time of lords and none of that feudal, none of that stuff, you know, you're a master of your own destiny for, for the most part. I'm not going to get political here. But, uh, yeah, it's just funny to me how sick you... Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Rick and Maru, go do it. It's like, okay. <clears throat> and it's a bit weird because I, I think... I'm not sure how, how would that work because I work for Goda. Right? Goda's my master. So Sekia asked that, and that's what, he paid me? Am I a mercenary? Because it seems like Rick and Maru is loyal to Goda, Lord Goda. So I'm not sure if Sekia, which we never see in person here, if you have any authority to, to order me to do anything. <coughs> Unless I'll be like, um, Rick and Maru would be, well, that's what Lord Goda wants, but what if you wasn't what he wanted, you know? I don't know. Now, let's go. And obviously the best cutscene ever made Minister Kataoka sure likes his money. What is this, Bizinya? There is more here than usual. We could not do business without you. <laughs> the money is merely a token of our appreciation. I like the way you think. What can I help you with today? We have put in bids for the construction work next month. If you could only... Leave it to me. <laughs> but remember what happened to Echigoya. Tread carefully. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Coughing a lot of air. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Anyways, once again, beautiful stage. It's, I think, in, in terms of look and atmosphere, it is my favorite. Although I do like the fall uh, theme forest as well. Which I think it would get to see again with the Native Americans uh, level. Uh, yeah, there are Native Americans in this game. We killed this guy here, because why not? Ooh. That, now that's a pet peeve of mine with this game uh, the dashes when you don't want them to happen it's very very annoying uh, you know this guy say we, we don't need to kill this guy and I don't think you'll matter about counting on how many times you get spotted because if you just kill one guy I don't think you'll matter so I'm gonna try to do try to do something here. I'm gonna try to kill the one archer in because maybe I think we're we're far away enough that we don't need to kill both of them. And that will definitely is up the load. If we can just kill go ahead and kill that one guy. I think I went to the wrong place here. Am I, is this the right yeah, this is the right place. So I'm thinking of killing this guy, but I'm there's a guy there, but I, I'm not sure if you see me. Oh, wait. Oh, he's here now. Okay. Let's kill him and hope nobody else is around here to see, because usually he's right there. There's one right there. So they changed the arrangement here once again. So let's hope we can kill this guy and not be spotted, and then trigger the fight with the. Uh... There we go. Trigger the fight quickly. Where is Minister Kataoka? You, you Lord Goda's ninja. How convenient of you to come here. I have orders to kill you. Wait! Please, spare my life. 
I will ask you just one more time. Where is Kataoka? The m m muster is out. He, he, he should be back soon. <laughs> now we gotta go immediately before we're sighted. Go, 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 go. There we go. I think this should do it. So, so if everything goes as planned, this should be it. So now we can check the map here, and this is the correct place. Yep, just straight ahead. It's those two little buildings there uh, represented on the map. Now, who is here, you know? Sometimes there's a civilian in here, which makes life very difficult. Sometimes there's an archer, and sometimes there's nothing. It looks like there's nothing here. We might be golden on this. Probably the easiest stage ever. Well, it says here 72, 73, 75. I want to know who's here, because I really don't want to fuck up. Hmm. Yeah, this is... There's somebody in here, walking. I think there's somebody underneath me, and I think the minute that I, I, I go down here, I'll be spotted. But somehow I cannot see him. Let's go, let's make sure we don't fuck this up. And let's go to the other side here so we can see if there's somebody underneath us. Let's not even jump over those gaps. There's no reason to doing that, for doing that. Uh, and let's take a look here. And let's see if I would have been screwed if I had, had I jumped there. Yep, there he is, son of a bitch. Let's go, let's go kill this oh, little fuck. Yeah, he would have fucking ruined everything. See, this game sometimes you just have to be patient. That guy would have ruined everything. Ruined the run. Let's go get him. You prick. Let's see where he goes from here. Okay. We'll wait for him to do a stop. There we go. And let's go. Let's go. <coughs> And immediately go up quickly and that should be it coming here should trigger the scene let's see minister kataoka you have brought great shame on yourself i never expected lord goda to catch me kill yourself and show me you still have some honor i will assist you yes thank you Tell Lord Gorda of how I died. I will inform Lord Gorda of your honorable end. There it is. Isn't that cutscene awesome? He commits seppuku right there to redeem his good name at the end at a cost of dying. But the part that gets me that I find very hilarious is when he says, show you still have some honor and kill yourself. I will, I will assist you. And he goes, oh yes, thank you. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Japanese culture of the day, I, I suppose. Uh, yeah, nowadays people just are you crazy? I'm not gonna do that. Uh, but he was about to get killed anyway, so I suppose die with some honor. That'll be it. Yeah. I mean, if you if you ever watch, if you ever want to watch the opposite of dying with honor, it's a scene, and I want to plug it in here because it's a scene of a movie, a, a movie I really like. The movie is okay, it's mediocre at best. Um, I like it, but that doesn't make the movie good. You know, you gotta you gotta be able to distinguish something you like from something the general populace doesn't. And that's just a fact, you know? That's why you have cult following movies and stuff like that. So the movie would be Dracula 2000 with Jared, Jared Butler, right? The guy from 300, the Scottish guy. And his, his Dracula in there, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, watch it. It's a very cool sort of early 2000, well, you can guess by the name. But my favorite part of the whole movie, and it's something that I, I watch every now and then, is on YouTube. 
Uh, Jared Butler comes over after a lady. So, okay, so they locked up this lady who's a vampire, but they don't know yet. But she's doing all kinds of crazy stuff. There's a detective, a detective and a doctor on the other side of the glass. And they're not supposed to be seeing the, you know, the vampire lady seeing them, all the stuff. She's levitating, floating around, doing all kinds of shenanigans. And then all of a sudden, she breaks through, through the glass, grabs the detective, and it kills him. And the doctor's there watching, like, what the fuck? And, you know, takes a huge bite off his neck and shit. And then the doctor notices behind him, there's Dracula, who's Jared Butler. And he started going, ha, 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 ha. And then <laughs> Dracula tells him, Dignity, Doctor. Dignity. And then he lets out, and you think you'll, oh, you'll be like, okay, I'll accept my fate. No. When shit is about to hit the fan, he lets out this incredibly fun screech, which, which by the way, I use as a sound sample uh, on my intro, on the pixel art intro of this, sorry, the outro of this video. If you make it as far, I made an outro, a uh, pixel art outro, on which uh, Rick and breaks in and my mascot is sitting there playing video games and it lets out a screech, you know, a uh, scream of terror. And that's a, a small sound sample from that scene, okay? And it's, fu it's fucking, uh, it's very funny. It, it, and then when he, scre he screams, of course, Dracula proceeds to kill him, uh, fate to black and all that. Uh, I don't know how I landed on talking about Dracula 2000, to be honest with you. I, I can't remember what led me to talk about it, this uh, movie, but I'm glad I did. I like to talk about things, that's what, I, that's what I'm thinking I want to, you know, do streaming in the future, because I like to talk about uh, the game and other subjects, such as, uh, especially movies, I think is my second passion after video games, is movies. A lot of, there's a, a lot of garbage out there today. A lot of stinkers. Um, I'm not into superhero fucking movies. Uh, I respect people are you know if you are into it, like the majority of people seem to be. It's just not for me. I, I can't stand it. And I like I like horror. I'm not more of a horror movie guy. And I like some B movies, B horror movies. <clears throat> and I think a second one will be a comedy, but not as much. I'm mainly mainly a horror guy. Uh, primarily, overwhelmingly, a, a horror uh, movie guy. Uh, of modern movies, I really like It Follows. <clears throat> I think that th there's the one with the crocodile too. I like the shark movies, the Descent. That's not the Descent. That's also a great movie. But what's the other one? 47 meters down or something. Uh, I'm not gonna get in a mag. There's a lot of things wrong with that with that movie that I don't want to touch here. Um, some scenes were entertaining, just overall, I, I don't know, I just, not the best. Uh, I like the 47 meters down, the sequel, that they go to a, some sort of a submerged Aztec kind of a city, and they're excavating, but it got flooded, it's flooded underneath the lake, and they get locked up there with the sharks. Really like that, I really like those movies, creature movies here, they're, they're pretty good. <clears throat> Watched, um, Again, Lake Placid recently. That was fun. Uh, anyways, uh, this stage is probably the easiest. I would say it's even easier than the first one, maybe. Because it, if you know where you go, I, yeah, it's easier than the first one. The first one, you still have two boss fights, even though Ichigo is kind of a, a shitty boss, really. You know, unless you're, you're far away from him and getting blasted with his pepper box pistol. Um, but this one is even easier. All you have to do is kill that bodyguard, get the hell out of there before he gets spotted, and then just walk up to Minister Kata Karaoka, and then he'll commit seppuku, and that's that's it. That's that. That's his level. Now, don't get too used to that, because hell is coming, uh, and we're gonna we're gonna see what's up. Let's go. Let's go. Next one. Long ago, an evil spirit was trapped in a magical stone. This stone has the power to control minds and alter bodies. It has been stolen by a strange cult 
calling itself the Manji. The Manji are using it to go from temple to temple, slowly building an army of zombie-like followers. Soon, they will start attacking villages, then towns, then cities. You must recover the stone and terminate the cult before it's too late. So this is a different arrangement. I don't know if it's good or bad. I have no idea. I'm going to push on forward. I know that for a fact that if the stairs are empty, there's nobody there. When you first start, give up. Or, you know, unless you know something, I don't. Give up because the guy, the um, there's going to be a guy inside the gate waiting, waiting on you. Now, I don't know if that little freak is here this time. I don't think he is. Go, get out, get out, get out, go. Okay. So, a slightly different arrangement. We don't get the potion. We'll just be careful fighting on Ikagi if I even make it that far. And we'll see how it goes here. But uh, this is a different arrangement. Let's go. Kill this asshole. Nice backdrop of the statue there. And now this is a problem. Now there's a guy here. There's a guy here. I have no way of seeing That's me trying to up down, up down square, up down square. How many tries does that take? Oh, I have a way of seeing, okay. So that should be when it's turned the other way because Rick, Rick and Maru cannot control himself here and hang over the ledge. He, he is either up or he's not going. So I have to wait for him to turn completely around and finally at least I have a chance now I can see because what's been happening here Again, if this is cut footage, the, the previous footage was cut, and this is the one that makes the final cut, right? Uh, I've been going up there, but I, I had no way of seeing, because I didn't know you could come into the corner here and see what it's up to. And basically, when I go up there, Rick and Maru go straight up, you know, instead of hanging over the, uh, the, the edge of the, the platform, it just goes straight up. So if the guy's facing your way, you're immediately spotted. It's over. And of course, this asshole here is going to turn every which way but lose. Everywhere but the place I want him to look at. F let's go, let's go. Do I no, I can't. He, he needs to turn all the way. And he didn't. And I was too slow. Now, I never played this game with uh, dual shock support. I don't know how different it is. I'm used to playing with this, with the digital pad. You know? Maybe with the dual shock support, but how would you do the dash? I want to experiment someday, and I never actually plugged it in with the dual shock. I want to experiment and see how it goes. How how different it is, uh, you know? And I, I wonder if it's even this version here. If you need to get a, a, a there's a lot of versions, can't you? Here you go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. See, that's the thing. So if you if you don't know, and wonderful. Oh, now you want to hang, eh? Okay. I I don't want to risk it. I could jump on the statue on, on top of the statue right now and start the boss fight. But right now, let's see, before everything goes to shit, it's, it, it does a lot of times. My idea here is to clear the guy that is on top. There's a guy there, I believe. Yeah, there you go. I want to clear him because I don't want to be sighted on the boss fight. That's me preemptively dealing with the game's broken nonsense. 
I want nobody here. I want nobody alive here. I want to see no numbers under on the corner there at all. I don't want nobody alive here. But now, here's the thing. You can turn around at any moment and fuck everything up. But I, I must do it. Better now than at the boss fight. Okay. Okay. Now let's walk around this room here and see if we, there's a number. Is that the freak? Outside the building, mind you. The building ends there. Yeah? The building ends right there. And here, there's a, a guy far away in a distant, in a distant fucking galaxy. And he sees it. You know what? I'm gonna leave it. Let me see. Let me see if it does. I want to see if it's the guy that comes in here. I'm going to go as far as climb back up and take a look around. I want to know. And I'm going to be here so he can't even spot me. Because believe it or not, they can't spot you from all the way down there. So I want to know who's here outside the building because they have, remember, x-ray vision. They can actually see what's happening inside the building somehow. Granted, is on a different arrangement, not this one. But I want to be 100% sure. I'm tired of going to the boss fight and then being spotted. I want, I want to see that number coming up close. I want to see where and who is here. There we go, 43, 45 coming. Where are you? Because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of being seen in a boss fight once I clear the whole fucking temple. You feel the animals are not gonna get away with it anymore. I've had it. I'm taking all the precautions, and, and believe me, and then how many times I do that and then it still doesn't matter. So okay, so he doesn't even come out here. So technically, in a sane world, that should be it. What the fuck is there? So there we go. What is happening? Who is here? I don't know how far they are. I, I, I think it's fine. It, it was on the different arrangement that the guy has x-ray vision. So let's go ahead with it. Let's proceed and see how we fare. <laughs> now the, the ultimate disgrace is you do all this and then only to die at the boss because uh, you know, some fuck ups happen. So. I know what you want. You want a stone. It's safe inside my belly. You're not going to get it. <laughs> you use the stone to hurt people. I will take it, even if it means gutting you. Concentrate in here, so I'll be quiet. Oh, a little curve on my piece of shit. Die. My, my, my precious stone. Burn in hell, you heretic. I found the somewhat amusing. We meet again. Onikage, so you're behind this too. Come on. You're brave, but who you will die. 
away immediately. I, I'll probably take a few hits, but I want to get away from that. There we go. Away from the door. Onikage has opened the door to let enemies sight me before, and I'm not taking a chance. This is looking good. Ooh, he got fucked on that one. What? I'm holding the fence here, you fucking piece of shit. I'm blocking and he fucking hit me. Come on. Fuck you. Fuck off! Blocking everything. Come. I underestimated you. Next time, you die. <laughs> Give it to me, bitch. Give it to me, bitch! Immediately. Immediately for the sake here. What a piece of shit level that was, honestly. Just more and more. I love the level, but bullshit after bullshit after bullshit after bullshit after bullshit after endless fucking bullshit. Cheers. Have a little sake here to calm down my nerves. So, the level is essentially broken. Uh, at least one arrangement is. Because, in what world, you're inside a fucking temple. And then you have to worry about a guy who is on the corner, uh, the opposite fucking, literally the opposite direction. That guy that was spotting me from outside the building. Insane. Absolutely insane. It makes zero fucking sense. Zero fucking sense. I need you on this one. Fuck it. Holy shit. We're getting closer and closer though. That's, things are starting to look up. But I find it incredible how stages that, you know, in my memory they were easy, like this one. Pretty straightforward. I mean, the first, let me tell you, the first time you play Tenchu, and if you don't look anything up, you're just playing blindly, you're gonna struggle, and that's the point. It's actually fun. You have to. You go everywhere but the place you need to go, honestly, usually. That's how it goes. But you, you you know, they made big stages so for you to explore. So I, I play the game the first time this way, okay? I, I say I got introduced by this game by watching G-Star 321, but however, when I saw that it covered Tenshu, I watched a tiny bit of the training, and then I never watched the, the, the actual uh, playthrough of this. I, the, the way it usually goes for me is that I, I wait for me to play the whole game, then I go watch, you know, him play it, because I love it. And, you know, I did that with Silent Hill 3, Silent Hill 2, basically every game, except Mortal Kombat, because I knew I grew up with those games, hence why I was attracted to his channel to begin with. It was his uh, Mortal Kombat content and his uh, shared hatred he has for Boracho. But, yeah, so the first time I played this game, it took forever, but it was fun the whole way. Because the stages are so big. Like, the first one is extra gigantic when you first come in, and you don't know where you're going. You go to those, like, uh, colored, uh, like, pink-colored cherry blossoms, I think that's what they are, you know, Sakuros. And you're looking around, like, where the hell, where the hell, <coughs> sorry, <clears throat> where the hell is that Echigoya guy, you know? Where do I go? And it's, it's like that for every level. But imagine a game that you know where you're going and you still get fucked. I just saw, you know, again, if the footage just cut and only this took the final cut, trust me, a lot of tries before getting to this. A lot of tries. And it's been the case with every level, pretty much. It's been ultra fucking satanic. Uh, and I need a smoke too. Clocking in at two hours for two levels, I can't, you know. But lately it's been four hours for two levels, so I, I'll count this as a victory, even though one, the first level is actually, shouldn't even count, because it's ridiculously, oh, just had a back nerve pinch here. 
I'm all tense because that's what this game does to you. All right, let's see what else. Uh, next. Japan has opened its gate to the outside world, allowing foreign trade for the first time in nearly 200 years. Together with silk, gunpowder, and exotic spices, have come something less desirable, foreign pirates. And none is worse than the Spaniard, Captain Balmer. Under the cover of the ship's powerful cannons, Balmer and his crew have wrecked havoc on the town. You must destroy these barbarians and restore peace. All right, a little pre-level talk. Uh, this level is awesome. Uh, it can be a bit difficult at times. I'm not familiar. When you get to the later levels, I'm not as familiar uh, with the arrangements. Um, but I, somewhat, I think I know he's on the ship on the, there's some, those big pirate ships, and he's on the, he's a big guy. The boss can be difficult. You can fall into the water. There's a bunch of shenanigans. You know how this game is by now if you're watching this. Bunch of shenanigans, broken, janky shit can happen in order to fight. I actually fell off the boat. He pushed me off the boat one time, the ship, sorry. And I had to come back to the boss fight. Can you imagine a boss fight that you fight and then it gets interrupted because you fall somewhere, but not to your death. You have to return because you fell off the fucking stage. Not like tacking or something, you get a ring out. Uh, you, you fell off. It's janky. So instead of putting what you should have done on the cotton, again, I know it's hindsight and uh, this game is old, but make like an invisible wall. So you don't, and maybe, you know, you're in a boss fight. There's no reason for you to get out of the stage. It should, it should go elsewhere. You triggered a boss fight, you're in a boss fight. It's like the other one. You're in a boss fight and, and the enemies are coming in and, and spotting you and getting alerted. What the fuck is going on here? So on this stage, it could be some janky with the boss fight. And he's, he's a very big Spaniard. Uh, and his attacks do a lot of damage. I think is actually, if I recall well, he's bigger than that weirdo with the number nine on his battle. What the fuck was that fucking enemy design on that boss? It's so weird. But anyways, so it's a lot of very massive, there's a very big fat ass pirate that walks around. Those are the regular henchmen. And there's also the, some big buff roid rage looking guys. And the, the boss, the final boss is massive. And kudos for this game, which is a very Japanese game. I don't know if it's the same on the uh, Japanese version of the game, but they went through the trouble of uh, getting, you know, Spanish. They could have just added some nonsense in there or, or said nothing. Or maybe just have the guy speak Japanese, like we often see in games like that. And uh, no, they got the, the guy actually speaks Spanish. Uh, which is great. So sort of like uh, like Resident Evil 4. If you speak Spanish or if you learn Spanish, uh, you can understand what he's saying. Eh? Yo hablo un poquito español. No es muy bueno, pero yo pienso que tú puedes comprender que te dijo. Uh, entonces, este jefe aquí hablas español. And I'm flexing a little bit because you don't expect a redneck to, to speak uh, Spanish. But... Uh, Hey, it happens, you know. Not not just because you're a, a heel villain don't mean you you have to be to be dumb. And if you're dumb, I'm not saying I'm smart. I say it doesn't mean that you don't have to. You can't learn a thing or two. I'm not saying I'm smart because God God fucking knows I'm not. I, I'm really in. I'm not fishing for compliments. I'm as dumb as it gets. Uh, trust me on this one. Okay, I'm a very simple guy. Very simple in in, in every sense of the word. Uh, but it's it's cool that you're not you know people put those labels on everyone and you can do this and that so uh, the greatest fun for me is to be around uh you know hispanic people and they're speaking spanish and i understand that i'd be quiet if they talk to me in, in spanish or assume that i speak spanish now speak back anyways i'm I'm going getting personal here uh i understand spanish pretty well better than i talk um and it's good to, it's good in games when it, it, it comes up and you're like, ah, I learned that thing. Yeah. And uh, it's cool to know. So they went through the trouble of giving him the right dialogue. I, I can't remember if it's accurate because like, like Resident Evil 4, 
the from what I read now I can see I can notice sometimes Spanish from Spain and Spanish from from Mexico which is the Mexican Spanish is the one I'm more familiar with and more comfortable with although I have interacted and talked to uh, Spanish from Spain you know actual Spanish people and most of them I understood just fine now, but, but it's been what I noticed is that Spanish has a lot of that th sound it's like th 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 th, you know and yeah but the point of me saying this is that apparently and I'm not a native speaker so I wouldn't you know 100% know for sure is that on Resident Evil 4 which by now you should be playing a remake I haven't bought it yet I was gonna buy an Xbox Series X uh, which I have I don't have a PS5 yet uh, very close to buying one, I would say a couple of months, because Silent Hill is just you know around the corner. Uh, apparently, the uh, at time of, uh, at the time of launch, the Xbox Series X has a better image quality, slightly. You know, digital foundry here, so they they really is their job. They nitpick, but in a good way. They go see all the differences. If you want to know difference about any versions of games, you're on the fence. If you happen to have two consoles. Uh, and the choice you buy one version or the other, then of course uh, Digital Founder is an excellent channel for that. But the problem with Xbox is control, so I don't give a shit if your game has a higher resolution, uh, you know, is prettier, is sharper, it, it runs better, the loading times are shorter, if your controls are dog shit. Yeah, and if the frame rate is dog shit. First thing I look at a game is controls and frame rate. So I will always go with a higher frame rate up to 60 to be honest I don't care past that 120 and I don't have any machine here that can do or monitor even I can do that uh, but anyways the point that I was making don't worry I haven't gone seen all on you and lost track the point that I was making about the Spanish that Resident Evil 4 uh, apparently they they used Mexican actors doing Spanish from Spain so I don't know what happened there you know so they use Spanish, obviously, just like British English, American English, Canadian English, Australian English, so forth. We have different, and even within America, we have uh, different accents. Uh, I was out west one time and riding on the truck with a guy, and he says, uh, looks like it's going to rain. And I say, I reckon. And he said, and what the hell is that supposed to mean? He didn't know what that was. So apparently they don't use that out there. And I, I, I told him, well, I guess so. I, I think he will. Yeah, you're correct. Uh, that was what I meant. And the same with Mexican Spanish and Spanish from Spain. You know, European Spanish. Uh, they have different, different uh, uh, you know, pronunciation of things. Not only that, but different expressions and different words. Just like Portuguese. Uh, for example, screen in Portuguese, like the screen, the display here that you're seeing, will be a tela. But then in Portuguese from Portugal is ecrã, which is completely, <laughs> they're not even close, you know. And many things like that. Whatever language you have that such things. But yeah, apparently on Resident Evil 4, from what I read, they use uh, used uh, Mexican actors, voice actors, to do a Spanish voice and so for uh, apparently apparently for a Spaniard that would sound weird or for a Mexican to sound kind of weird but again I, I, they, I've seen in foreign people saying that claiming that they're natives and they didn't see any difference and they say there's a bunch of bullshit so who knows what does that have to do with this level aside from the fact that the guys here are Spanish nothing I'm talking I'm making conversation I talk about things like I said I'm not in a hurry to play the games my my videos will never be about doing things in a hurry uh, the commentary I'll just fucking talk that's what I'm saying about the stream. I think I think I might be at home on streaming now. Who knows? Maybe one or two people might find my rants, my old man rants, interesting. And little stories here. Uh, but I like to be talkative and at least here, I'm not really like that in real life, to be honest. I am dependent on the person. I, I tend to be more of a be quiet and listen kind of guy and see what's going on, who's who, and then talk when, when it's necessary. But avoid talking when it's not. Because I learned one thing in life is the more you talk, the more in you know, more you can get in trouble sometimes. So sometimes it's best you to. They have a saying in, in Portuguese, which I'm familiar with as well, is boca fechada não entra mosquito. Uh, I think is the way it goes. So, I mean, in, uh, if your mouth is closed, no flies will get in. So that's their way of saying, don't talk too much, sir. You're talking too much. 
But here I will talk. This is a video. This is a long ass video. And, uh, you know, I'll be free to talk to you, the viewer, if you find it interesting. If you don't, again, fast forward. I was going to say chapters, but YouTube has been taking the chapters away from my videos. I've been, I'm going to be moaning about this for a long time to come. I'm very disappointed in it. Uh, they might be back for now. You'll be like, what this guy's talking about. But at the present, at now, at, at, this, at the time of recording this, they've been removing my, they removed all my chapters, which I put a lot of work into with the timestamps. And it's been just fucking removed. They just disappeared one day. Slowly, some videos still had them. But they're gone. They're fucking gone. Anyways, back to the stage. Uh, let, look, anytime you've seen the suffering here, if you've seen the uncut version, anytime I'm moving on from the previous stage, I'm very happy. Even the next stage is probably dog shit. And this time I'm going to have sake beforehand. Even if the new stage is dog shit, uh, and it's going to be just as hard. I'm just happy for a change of scenery. Because I think with this game, I bit off a little more than I could chew with this with this long play recording. Mm. Good shit. So, without further ado, vamos nos. Show no mercy to the foreign invaders. Overcome guns with stealth. Yeah, they have guns. And never armed the innocent whale by now. We got tired of hearing that shit. I don't think there's a cutscene. The atmosphere of this level is incredible. The sounds is, it sounds very ominous. Very serious, like, you know? Oh. So there's a Spaniard. They're massive. There's two of them. And they I think they had about a diarrhea by the way they they walk. I'm gonna jump in the water because I think that other guy's gonna see me. Oh, I just stay here. Okay. It's okay. Oh, there's a health potion. It could be useful with the with the boss. Okay. I'm con anytime you see, don't be picky. Anytime you see an enemy and he's not spotting you when he's looking right at you, take it. Don't don't be moving, don't be trying to get closer. Just 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 take it. You know, just stay where you are, and eventually they're gonna turn around and you kill them. Don't be fiddly, don't be fidgety, don't be moving about and like you have ants in your pants, just wait. You turn around eventually, it's a stealth game, it's not a speed running game. Well, it could be a speed running game, but I... You know what, I never looked up a, a speed... I'm, I don't usually have a big interest in speed run. In doing it myself, because I'm more of a explore everything kind of guy. You know, when I played this game here first time, I loved it. I looked everywhere, I did everything. It was awesome. It was the age of discovery for me. Let's get this health potion. Uh, okay, let's cancel this and look at the map here. So I'm gonna see it. Okay, so I need to go this way. This is the, the way to go here. I'll see if I can find a big fat guy. He's got a big, big ass belly, you know? I think it might be here. I, oh my goodness. Let's go back, cancel it. Double jump, double jump. No, the, the regular fucking long jump never comes and it's a, it's a hell of a problem here. Okay. Hey, look at the sounds on this stage, huh? Yeah, this is the correct way to go. Uh, and believe it or not, I think, if I recall well, those guys are big, but they still go up on the roof somehow. I would love to see a guy that size climbing on a roof, but hey. We are going to be very careful here. I don't want to do the... Oh my oh. goodness. No, no, no. What are you doing, dude? Oh. Dude, what are you doing? What is this jankiness oh. from hell? Oh my god, what what happened here? What's going on? And who the fuck is seeing me? Is a dog. What the fuck was that? I was locked in there. I couldn't go. Let's kill this bitch. Get oh, dead. Was there a guy in there in that corner? I think I saw it. Yeah, look at that. You go kill that dog and hurry! That guy will spot you immediately. And if I go kill that guy, then the dog will spot me. You can't win. 
So let well we can try to kill him here. And there there's an innocent. A, a civilian. Uh, you know what? Let's do the smart thing and not fuck with any of them. How about that one? How about that concept? Let's just fucking keep moving. Yeah, there's no reason to engage. Now, I can't remember which ship is in. I think it's the real big one. So it's immediately down here. Wouldn't it be nice for once that I, I could just clear stage without a bunch of bullshit? Wouldn't that be something? Oh yeah. Wouldn't that be something if I could just do that? Don't fucking dash, Rick. I know for a fact that there's gonna be a guy here. Gotta be careful with those, those places. But first, before killing this guy here, let's let me see here. Cause the thing with this game is a lot of the fuck. Oh look, that's the real the big, big fat slob. Show him. There he is. I can't resist. Come on, Rick. Get out. Nice. Yeah, that's not gonna cause me trouble, Rick. I have a hatred for when it does that of a thousand sons. Son of a bitch. Now let's kill this guy. I don't see anybody here, but yeah. But if you if you can come back, it would be hard to come. You, there's no chance. It's too, you're too close to the wall to throw the grappling hook from there. So if a guy spots me there, I'm fucked. All right, let's go. See, there is a guy there. God damn you. Let's go this way. Quick, quick, quick. Very good that I spotted him. So there was a guy in there. And now we know where he is. Let's go take care of him. I love the atmosphere of this stage. Most stages here are amazing. So, oh! Oh shit, I almost fell here. There he is, you little turd. I'll fucking fix you. I'll fix all of you. Don't spot me, you jerk. He's stationary, huh? Yeah, he is. Let's go, let's go. Let's not dwell in it. Okay. And just in case, to avoid any bullshit, let's go back to the roof and make sure that the coast is clear here. That the coast is clear, and then we, we're not going to have any heart. It, it seems to be fine. Now let's go. So, oh, shit. Okay, the ship is that wide. I think there's a guy here. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I think I can... Uh, that's me doing the dash, trying to do the dash. Don't, Rick, don't! Cl cling on the wall, I hate it! Yeah, his station there as well. As well. I just want to crouch and Rick keep, keeps hugging a fucking wall. No, he needs to go all the way. He's a long distance. No. I won't take none of that shit. You need to go all the way, sir. All the way. Come on, let's see it, bitch. I got time. I got time. Trust me, I got nothing but time. Ugh, fuck you know. Let's see it, buddy. Let's see that butt. Shake the money maker. Let's go. Turn around. Bingo. You know what? I hate the animation. I do everything in my power to stop it. I think that might be it. Right? Yep. And I have a health potion. So, wouldn't that be nice? First time. It's not going to happen. Though. I, I, I bet there's going to be bullshit here. Look at the size of that man. Deseas que te maten? Muérete. Expect no mercy. Your life is over. Si. Quiero matar. 
See, Kiara Mata. Oh, he throws bombs you, I think. Oh my god, no. I'm not doing well here. I gotta be fair. This guy can fuck you up. No, let's wait. This is going well. Please don't fuck up. Please don't. Please don't fuck up. Please don't fuck up. Come on, bitch. I got him. Ay, Dios mío. It must be sad to die so far from home. Can I get a fucking hallelujah? So the whole game with insanity, and this is the first fucking time that I get a clear stage Grandmaster right away. This is the first time this particular playthrough that this happens. And if that doesn't deserve a sock, then nothing does. And nothing will. This is awesome. I, I couldn't be happier. Things are moving. Things are going forward. And this is great. Yeah, I love the stage. Uh, I did not expect to clear right away like this. Look at the draw, I guess. Ooh. Awesome. My headphone keeps going just one-sided. You know those three and a half millimeter uh, jacks? This is, uh, what are they called? Phono jacks? I hate it. It never works for me. My whole life I've been using those things, and they're always like this. Oh, you gotta kind of wiggle it around and one side is lower and then it pops up again and it goes back to, ugh. I like RCA. Uh, next time I'll, I'm gonna use my RCA. I'm not using a Turtle Beach uh, uh, headphones. Anyways, back to the game. Awesome that I cleared the stage right away. This is fucking very, 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 very welcome news. I've been spending nearly two hours on some stages or the past few hours, I think, on some of them. It's been horrific. There we go. Uh, let's go. Next one. Lord Goda's only daughter, Princess Kiku, is quickly losing her sight to a mysterious disease. All conventional efforts to treat her have failed. However, there is a magical herb that grows only at the top of Mount Sheba. This herb has the power to halt the disease and restore the princess's vision. You must fight your way past the demons guarding the mountain, find the herb, and deliver it to Princess Kiku. I know there's a guy behind the tree there, but if you're quick enough, let's go. You can get this damn dog. Now the shuriken sometimes, <sighs> okay, you aim at the dog and sometimes he's looking right at you, right? The dog, the wolf, whatever. Um, and, and it's all for nothing. Come on, you prick. Is he stationary? He is. I don't remember this arrangement of enemies here. Hmm. See how that goes. Yeah, that's it. When it turns sideways, I've got a gun already. And immediately I'm gonna leave. I don't know who's there, who's gonna spot me. You know how this game is by now. You have to be an invisible ghost here at all times. 
I know there's, is that behind that tree? Is that that guy behind that tree? Yep, that's him. Could have gone, oh no. See, if I had gone there, there and then I would have been spotted. I don't know, this guy's kind of painful. Uh, let me try to, I'm just gonna wanna be in a position here that I, quink, I can quickly roll to the left in case it sees me. Yeah. No, he does a turnaround, doesn't he? So he didn't. That turnaround that he did there in the middle, as you seen earlier, that was a random one. And of course, I was thinking I had a half a mind to go that one time, and I would have been screwed. So that's how the game keeps fucking with you. Now I can't. I have to come here because I'm not seen, and but then I can't see the bastard. He's going to do the turnaround, isn't he? Die, prick! Got him. And then a dog immediately. What a bunch of shit this game is sometimes. Again, I reiterate, reiterate that I love this game, but I've been playing for a while now to know it's, it's pretty, you know, janked. Uh, I still love it. It doesn't change. Will I play this again? Yeah. I know I screamed and hollered a lot that I wouldn't, but I will, because I want to play as I am as someday, but it won't, it won't be in a time soon. Let's try to shuriken with this jerk off here. Make sure he's turned the it away. I don't think, yeah, no, let's see, let's be on the safe side. Did I get him? I didn't see the blood. I did get him, yeah. This is going smoothly calm, peaceful, as planned, until he doesn't. We'll see. A lot of janking is in, in that mountain. Yeah, I can see here, because I have a second monitor that shows me the re, uh, the CRT recording next to me, and it looks good. It's looking a lot uh, le less dark than it was. Oh, there we go. Wouldn't it be awesome if I came here and did it a sec second time around, I suppose, right now? But this place is janky as fuck. Is there the guy here that got a lure him or no? Yeah, he's here. Absolute jerk. And he, he has a little turn. And you have a blind spot. You can't see him at, at one point. What is he doing, dude? All the way, bitch. All the way. Go. If he does a turn around. No! That, that's me, because imagine here, why'd you try to hit him, you would ask, and then, you know, you fail, because I'm desperately trying to avoid doing the stealth kill animation, because he will walk backwards doing, who knows which animation that's going to be, and then you'll fall into the cliff here, fall off the cliff, sorry, and then game over, because I made a mistake, no, because I made a mistake of trusting Rick, of doing his bullshit, not doing his crazy animation. Which that one, that is the most dangerous one, and that's this game, you're you're worried about the fucking animations. The most dangerous one being the one he really, he gets the, the, the person sideways. Okay. And you can see he pops in and out of vision here, up my side, there we go. And there's another feller. Got to be very careful here with everything. It's going well a little bit, but I'm very far away from completing this. And that mountain from hell is janky as hell. It's janky as fuck. And you can be... Remember one time I was there... Well, if you were seeing the cut content, and this happens to be the Grandmaster, there was one time I made it up there to that mountain. And I killed a guy, did all the stealth, just perfect. Just, you know, sublime. And then a guy literally fell from the sky right on my fucking face. And that was that. Let's go. Let's go. Don't fuck around. Okay, and, and, and retreat. Retreat to the shadows. I, I want to make sure... I want to go past this back. I am being very careful, because I want to know the guy here. There's a guy here. I want to make sure he doesn't see me. It would be wonderful if I could get rid of this stage right now so I will be very careful and all the while I'm extremely terrified that Rick would do an accidental 
dash and destroy all my progress. There you go, that guy. Aha! Not this time, Nancy boy. Not this time. Stop. Okay. I almost threw a sure again. That's what happened last time. Can I... Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do a different thing this time. I'm gonna try to approach by... I'm not gonna throw the fucking uh, grappling hook on the tree this time. <clears throat> I'm gonna try a different... A different approach here for now. There's a guy, okay. I don't know why he's freaking out. Let's get the hell out of here. Go, go, go. I don't want to get spotted. Go. Go. He's freaking out there. I don't know what he saw, but he's freaking out. I am going to be extremely careful here. God damn you. I'm gonna be very careful because I don't oh man, I don't want to be spotted. I'm 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 gonna play safe. I'm gonna go milk toast here completely. I'll crawl all my way in if I... What is that guy freaking out about? Is it coming all the way here? Come off it. That's why I don't like going that way. Is it coming this way? Inching my way forward. Inching my way forward. Inching my way forward here. Baby steps. Baby steps. It's so far though. Let's see, do I, is he the kind of guy I have to attract him here? You kidding? I'm risking it. My goodness, is a thousand miles away. Got him. Hide, hide, hide! I'm not even gonna risk that, that other feller there. Let's kill him too. That was a thousand miles away. There's items in there. I'm interested in them. Let's see if we can get something out of this. Out of this mess. So far I'm quite happy, but I hate to jinx it. Once you get up to that mountain, it goes crazy. No, I'm waiting for him to go completely, completely turn around, and I'm, I'm happy to see. There we go. Quick. Oh my goodness, this place is so hot, so dangerous. There we go. Get the item. Uh, I will get the bomb. Why not? You know. Please don't, don't, no craziness. There we go. Let's get the sheer bomb. So far, so good. Now I just need that mountain to not fuck me over. And since everybody here is dead, we can go ahead and just use the bridge as a normal person would. And this is the mountain of death. A lot of... What if I... I'm tempted to go... Can I just come this way? Couldn't it be in this seat? Please don't go up, all the way up. Could I just... All right, it's kind of risky. What does the map say? I never came up here, actually, come to think. I don't remember ever coming up here. And this was a complete waste of time. There's nothing here. Okay, wonderful. Just fall down here. Now proceed very, very carefully. Dog right here. No, I will wait for it, for it to turn around completely. I know I should have, good, there we go. Kill this bastard. And right in a hide and make sure nobody's going, what? Spotting anything. I think the next place you go is up there. Let's see. Let's see if the number right here on the left is increasing. So he's, he's about to come here. Nope. Oh, there we go. Six. Make sure he's not seeing me from there. It looks like he just stays around here. Oh, 
Little turn around. You gotta love this game. And and tell me, uh, was that a skill? Was that a matter of skill? Was that a matter of skill? And the other guy spotted me, so that's twice. And I do a. You can be as careful as you want in this game. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't give a shit if you grew up with this game. Did you just watch this? Oh, you could have waited more. No, I couldn't have waited more. It doesn't matter. Coward. Yeah, come here, show the coward. <laughs> Okay, now the other guy spotted me, so that's shoot spotting. It's incredible, this game. I find it incredible. Oh, I grew up with a game. Dude, I'm glad to have a, a great time. I had a great time with this game, but you, you're seeing the jinx. So the problem is, no, I couldn't have postponed it. It wouldn't have been different. Yeah, you would have, but only by chance. Because the problem, that turnaround that he did there is not part of his route. It is randomized. It's random. He just... He decided every now and then they'll deviate from their route. No, okay, they continue on the same route, but they'll have little turns. And if that turn happens, when you decided to go, game over. Game over. There's nothing you could do. So, there's nothing I could have done here to make that differently. I could have waited two hours there, and he would still uh, probably do the turn. So my only hope here is that maybe I can kill enough enemies, but, but but even then, because I'm fighting that guy, so every time I'm hitting him, uh, obviously the battle is being moving is moving forward, which which means that the other guy here spotted me, but I'm not concerned about him because I'm fighting a guy, you know, I'm fighting another an enemy. I'm not concerned about being spotted, particularly at that time. Stationary. That should be. Is it? Yeah. Okay, I need the camera to be here. Thank you. I don't see anything. Probably up there. Here. Die, son of a bitch. I don't know. I don't know if I'll make it on the on the kills alone, you know? Being spotted twice, there's no fucking chance. Uh, and then there's this bullshit to deal with. What's the problem here, Rick? I don't want to climb on up there. I want to go directly from here. There we go. I'm pressing on because who knows? There, there might be a chance that I kill enough guys here. Oh my god, what are you doing? There we go. Wonderful. Just probably gonna be a master ninja. Nah, you're going the whole way. Rick, Rick weighs 500 pounds, so it takes forever for him to get up to kind of where a fat man. I think I have... I want us... Oh my god, are you crazy? You're fucking nuts! I'm gonna hide. Go, 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 go. Drop down, motherfucker. D no, not... Oh, my God. Why you didn't hold on there? Honestly, what the fuck are you doing, man? Bullshit. It's bullcrap. That guy's gonna see the body. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Because I, I gotta lure him in, but he... I, look, if I had gone there. Come on, dude. Miserable bastard. Miserable fuck. Kill him, kill him, kill him. More, more luck than anything, really. I reckon what I could do is go to the forest and see if I can kill anything there. This is nothing but a pit.
What am I, uh... What am I... What am I doing here? What's farther up? No. Oh, uh, there? Is that it? Oh, it's here. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Bit concerned here. I don't think I'll go back to the forest to kill more people. I think I'll just... Don't... I, I don't want that, Rick! I don't want it! It's clinging to the wall! I don't want to cling to the wall! The camera control is horrible! Okay, now I want to cling to the wall. See, if I go now, is he going to do a little turn around? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'll try. It's gonna be a master ninja. Though it's over. It is over. So I got spotted twice. I don't think it'll matter much. So this is the herb, princess. I'm on my way. Well, well, there you go. Then I think yeah. I think I killed. How many people I killed? Yes, I was spotted four times? What the fuck are you, what are you on about? And see, that's the thing though, so from my, from my understand looking at this, uh, you know, the results here, so if a uh, same guy spots you once, twice, three times, it should be just the enemies, come on, come off it. They, they have a, the, the attention span of, of a goldfish, so it's like they can't forget they spotted you immediately, so and then they see you again, and that counts as another time being spotted. I don't know, I guess I got lucky here. It was a good run, you know, I, I played well, relatively well, compared to the other times I tried, so uh, I do deserve the Grandmaster, uh, if, if I may say so. But I'm surprised I acquired, I thought it was gonna be a, I thought I was spotted twice and that was it. So don't be spooked if you're spotted a few times, then I guess, uh, if you're doing a Grandmaster. As long as you kill a lot of enemies, you could sort of make up for it. So the next stage is horrific. B both stages now, Rick. We're, we're reaching out the two last stages of the game. So let's see how that goes. Last night, a creature calling himself Omikage led an army of ninja-like demons on an attack against one of Lord Goda's castles. Onikage and his servants have strength far beyond that of ordinary men. They were able to quickly overwhelm the guards and kill all of the castle's residents. Onikage is now making preparations to invade the town. He must be stopped. The castle is heavily fortified and well defended. A frontal assault is impossible. You must infiltrate the castle and eradicate the enemies from within. Now this place is infernal. Uh, at first I'm not going to take anything, so talking time here. So if I recall well, this is a stage you're going to spend most of the time, you start outdoors, but you're going to spend most of the time inside a castle. And there's some tight corridors, uh, there's some tight spots, there's some very annoying enemies, the camera control here really show, um, shows its age uh, because of some, I remember a particular area where there's this sort of room with this sort of, sort of showed you around it and there's a, a stationary enemy, listen to that arrangement, I got a stationary enemy and two sort of like cat ladies patrolling around, it's tough, this is tough and then you get you the boss battle with Anikage again and the rest of his health and it is also infernal. I have fallen off the roof. He, you know, the fight when you're fighting, it's pretty one-dimensional. You you attack, you wait for them to attack, you block, you go. But then the battle takes you to some weird places sometimes. And one of those weird places, because it's all the way up in the roof, is to get you to fall from the roof. 
And again, not like Tekken, not ring out, not like you die. You just, you, it's now a very awkward position. And you can lure him to go outside on the roof and the fight continues on the rooftops, on the very janky slope rooftop. So yeah, it's a weird one. Now I expect hell here. I expect to be trying a lot of times. The only stage I know that'll be harder will be the last one because it's very weird. It's entirely inside a cave and the last boss can be kind of a bitch. So let's not take anything and see where this leads us. Let's go. So right away if I remember, just climb on up here. I never use the gates. You're a ninja, you're not and right away the bullshit begins. Nice, nice. Yeah, sure is, buddy. Is he a stationary? Yeah. Good. I always love stationary enemies because the deal with them is simple. They don't have the quick turnarounds, they're just staying there as they should, and that's it. Once they're on that position, you go in and kill them. It's pretty straightforward. Now this place, I actually not sure if I remember exactly where I need to go, which could be fun. You know, it could be a, sort of a self-discovery. I know there's a, down there, there's some sort of like a sewer system. Because, you know, every game has to have a sewer level. Uh, even this one. I think this feller that is showing up here on my radar is up there. So what we're going to do is this. Oh, there he is. And Rick, please don't climb all the way up. Thank you. And it, as nice, you can see there... Nice. Yeah, the other guy said that. So they all wear them weird masks, and there's a cat, and there's an enemy here. It's bullshit. There's a cat lady, and she's stationary, but she only looks at your direction. Like, there we go. Let's do some pageantry. We're both with our heads inside the lamp. A bit awkward. Okay, I can. What can I do here from here? Let me see. I think that there's a lot of enemies here, so I, my intention right now is to get get on the roofs without being spotted. I'm being spotted. Okay. Can I can can I get up up there from here? Yeah, I can. Let's do that. There we go. I like being on the roofs. Uh, there are uh, enemies on the roof here. However, uh, some. Cat ladies, I think maybe I fucked up. All right, let's try the long, long jump here. Make sure there's nobody here, right? No. Oh. What the fuck? I did a double jump. What the fuck was that? There's a double jump? Come off it. I. Well, I can't replicate that. That was... Please don't tell me this game has a double jump and I've played this a gazillion times without even knowing it. I can't seem to replicate it though. Now, I sorta of don't remember exactly where to go here, to be honest. I remember the stage being pretty big and you get down there, there's some I think I sort of by instinct I remember coming this way here. Oh, there we go, there's a cat lady. Let's see if I can be way, way down here without alerting her. Yeah, I can get pretty close and comfortable. Let's try this. I'm gonna get, yeah, that, that should do it. There's the cat mask lady. It looks like they're having some kind of, you know, <laughs> very weird party going on here, like a costume party of sorts. <laughs> Goodbye, madam. Hope you had fun at the ball. Let's not fuck around. Let's go right back here until we figure out what the hell is going on. Uh, no, I think I remember going up there is kind of a waste of time. I, I don't think there's anything up there. I think, if, I can't remember for sure, but I think I have to stay down here pretty much. Or do I? I'm not... Yeah. Oh, there we go. I 
I don't know if she's... You have three types of enemies here, as far as I know. You have the people you have to lure in, in by being a certain distance from them. And then you have the folks, where the hell is that lady going? And then you have the folks that have a predetermined route that what you do don't matter. They're just going to follow that pattern while she is going very far away. There you go. Let's skip a distance. If you keep a distance from your enemies, they are not going to spot you. But sometimes it pisses me off, they spot you right away. She's coming this way. Ha ha! Not this time. Little turn. Come on, dude. Oh my god, it's like a gazillion eyes. Got her. Let's hide here. Not a lot. There's only much of the imagination here. Some clipping here. Give me a texture clipping to my advantage. Don't see there's somebody around here. That's just a matter of remembering exactly where to go. Are they up there or down here? Sorry, up here or down there. Yeah, I can't, can't quite remember where, where to go. Did I? I want to see if the lady is here. There's a lady that she just looks at you in your direction no matter what. Oh! Is that a thing? Oh my goodness. Careful. <clears throat> oh! There we go. There she is. gonna try to use the grappling hook here when she turns around and then wait again there we go nope no reason to wait let's go murder her and I got spotted why'd you put that enemy there so I got spotted I got spotted one time already and spotted again that counts as two times let's make it three times four times five times six times let's just go keep going keep counting the spottings where, where am I? Yeah, 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 where are you? You cheap motherfucker. And then, you gotta love it. You go back to the same fucking spot, you dance around, and you don't get spotted. So where the fuck was that guy? Well, maybe he moved. I'm gonna press on, because I need to... See, the first time you, you play this game, you're trying to get Grandmaster, don't quit immediately. Because what's happening here is that I cannot freaking remember this stage very well. So I need to get... Look at this. Get off me. I need to... Um, I need to get familiar... I'm going to give up saying that word. Familiarize. Is that how you say it? Get familiar with this shit. Familiarize myself. There we go. Familiarize. Why, why was I having a problem with this earlier? Familiarize myself with this level as much as I can. So that when I, I come here to try again, I sort of know what I'm doing or where to go. Now this place is interesting. You can see down there. I don't know if one of them is a trap. Can't, can't remember. Is there anything or is that it? Rick, I don't want to clang against the wall, Rick. No, Rick, please stop. No, this is it. This is this. Fucking useless here. Oh. Mm. oh. Is that her? I think so. Look at this hot mess now. This lady here. She's stationary, right? You're gonna you're gonna wait here, she's gonna she's gonna turn around, and then you can attack her from behind. Because as I told you, there's three types of enemies. That'll be incorrect. She follows you wherever you go. I can prove that right now. There you go. And now we'll go this way. And there she is, she's facing this way. If I go that way, if I know she, keep in mind, she's supposed to not know that I'm here. And now she is magically turned this way. So in other words, a complete fucking 
bullshit. It's bullshit. The AI is cheating here. The game is literally cheating. So she just looks. I killed her before. I can't even fucking remember how. Because she's just facing wherever you face, she faces. Wonderful. Well, I killed her by mistake. Somehow. By mistake. Nice, Rick. What if there was an enemy there, huh? Asshole. Complete jerk. Okay, let's stay down here. Let's stay down here. Okay. What the fuck? How? 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 Can you stop clinging to the wall, you idiot? So... Did I get spotted? What the fuck? I don't even know anymore. Such a mess. Once you get up here, such a fucking mess. Oh, there you go. There's one of those ladies here. Let's kill her. Oh, uh, there you go. This is the correct... I don't know if that... I don't know if that was a mistake on the programming. Uh, that that lady just faces you. That particular lady, I've never seen another one like this as far as I remember. So maybe they forget forgot to program her to to do this, which is to turn so they give you a chance to kill her. So she's very tricky to kill. I I did it by accident, so I can't even tell your method to to kill her for sure. There we go. I love this shit. I love to kill him immediately and climb on up because we don't know who's lurking around here. Don't do your dash, you son of a bitch. Don't fucking do that dash ever again. I'll kill you. But earlier I got spotted by who? Who knows? I think... I think we can proceed here. And this is... Is this... Oh my god, like what? Who? Who? Who is this? Who is here? Can you see something? I can't see nothing. Is that inside? Oh, there she is. Okay. All right. Now things get ugly. Things get difficult here. It's not easy. Look how far she is. I don't even know if that's the correct way. I don't know if there's anybody on this side. Stop. See if we can see her pattern. I think, no, that's too short. Too short of a walk. Holy shit, our walk is very short. This is gonna be very difficult. supposed to do with this? Maybe see if I had a poison rice here. I think that would be helpful. Okay, I'm not gonna bite into that. I... The minute I got... Her walk cycle is so short... Oh, the fuck? Okay, this asshole here. Her walk so cycle is too short. I'm not gonna risk it. I, I don't even know if that's the way I need to go. I'm gonna see this. So, again, he did a turn, and I couldn't see it. I'll try to kill him quietly here. Come. Let's stay here. Let's stay here, you demon. No, 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 no. Come. This way. You're not attracting more people. Come. Damn it. Come on. This way. Come. Come on, man! God, this guy's so annoying. One point of health. I died. My God, this is fucking annoying. 
and somebody's alerted who knows who. Unbelievable. All right, just checking the map here. Just seeing where I need to go. Stop, don't hug the wall. Oh, there's a guy sleeping there. Right. That's hide in case somebody sees the body or something. Wait. There's somebody here. Where? Probably inside, huh? I don't want to hug the wall, Rick, please. It's gotta be here. Oh, is that lady? Well, that's gonna be difficult. difficult this one because the walk, walk cycle is so short I don't I don't even know if it's gonna be possible by the time I get there she'll spot me okay maybe on that walk there very tight very tight got her but holy fucking shit huh you have to be so fucking perfect. It's ridiculous. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is the place I'm talking about. It's some kind of sewer. Don't dash, Rick, please. There's nothing here. Yeah, if you fall there, you don't die. Let's see if I can take a look here and show you. So there's a hole. You can see the texture down there. There's a hole like sewer place, the basement. And there's a lot of those cat ladies out there. Yeah, I'm kind of lost somewhere to go here, to be honest. It's just... just push forward here. Stop dashing, asshole. Oh, there's a guy. Let's kill him. All I'm trying to do is avoid all this shit. 90. Somebody up here then. Is it? Do I have wind sounds? That's pretty cool. Every now and then I like to just stop and take a look around. Very cool they have the wind sounds. I never notice any ambient sounds here. Okay, where to go, buddy? Where to go? Okay, I suppose... Continue here. Yeah, maybe here, inside here. Is that it? There's nothing here. I don't know, dude. Killed everyone here. Could it be that building in the north face? Could it be down there? I don't think it's going down there. Ugh, come on. What's in here? This way. Yeah, cause... It, no, I don't think so. I think this is actually just leaving. Oh, wait. Careful now. Yeah, this is just leaving the building. This is... It's like the opposite of what I want. Okay, let's uh, climb on up and take a look around. Maybe we'll get a better view up there. I think because uh, that asshole there just spotted me so many times, I, I don't think I'll be getting the Grandmaster after all. Uh, I, th I think maybe I should have... I should have looked up something before trying this, because... 
I am completely lost here on where to go. Completely lost. Is there a secret, secret entrance? No, there's a guy alive here, but where? Is it down there? Downstairs in the basement? Where the fuck do I go? Where the fuck do I go here? Maybe. No, this is... It's just this building. Ah! Well... Uh, well, let's kill more enemies here if I can. It's very difficult. I'll probably get spotted here a few times. Who is here? There's items. But... <sighs> I don't want Rick, I don't want it! and things. Let's see here. Okay, so I noticed if you're hugging the wall, you can press the opposite direction. I just figured this shit out. I know, me and my dumb brain, huh? Let's go get those things. It's good. A couple of bombs and a health potion. Now, I think here is... Here is the end of the line, I think, if you fall here. Let me see. Oh my god, it goes deeper? Fucking hell. Oh. This is just the outside, so the deeper levels there are full of cat ladies. Yeah. waiting a tiny bit here. See, this is what I'm talking about. If you come to a level not knowing where to go, the level can feel quite big, quite massive. Nice night. You just said that, asshole. Come on, let's... How about you turn the other way? I got sick of this guy just turning one way or the other, and I prove now beyond any reasonable doubt uh, that the eye does know where you, you are. They just kind of have to pretend that they don't, so you... Obviously, you can play the game and have a chance of killing them. Come on, one more, man. There we go. Holy cannoli. Huh. Oh, there. I was going to say he doesn't bleed. Did he bleed? He bleed. I don't know if I should con continue to go down. I'm going to try. Hell, I, I, you know, I don't know where to go here anyways. Let's go. Fuck it. Let's see. Stranger. What are you doing? Come on. Come on. stop yeah that's a lot of spotting I'm not sure if I if I were to not be spotted here again and kill a you know half the population of Osaka here then maybe okay let's not do any pageantry here let's just be safe this infuriates me I cannot look forward upward Was that it? Can be very careful if somebody walking around here. Aha, you fuck. Okay, so 
so as soon as it turns around. But like, again, like I said, he comes here, to, I cannot see past that wall to my right. So if he does his little turn, man, I'm done and without even knowing. That's what happened when the first time I got spotted right here on this turn. Let's go. And get out. No, fuck off. Fuck the camera. All right, I think that was actually the way. Well, good. Uh, it's quite difficult here. Uh, because, man, so many people... Look at this. What spooked you? That's what I'm talking about. This is, that doesn't make any sense. You got spooked by what? Come off it. Now it's half an hour waiting for the jackass to turn the other way and he just keeps looking at this place. He had no reason to get spooked. I was not sighted. He could not see any part of me. Is that because I'm walking too fast? I don't know. Come on, dude. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, my God. Holy shit, man, you're fucking annoying me. I know that you know that I'm here, but let's pretend that we're playing a game here. You're playing a role, sir. Sir, let's go turn the other way around, please. Just for the love of God. This is not fun. Oh, I could have gone there. Oh, shit. God damn it. Go. Let's do this one. Son of a bitch. Look at this. Somebody's alerted there. What the fuck is going on with this game sometimes? You got the rip. What's your problem? You hug the wall every time when I need it. And then you oh my god. Just hug the fucking wall now. Lean, a lean up against it, please. Okay. What? What the Where fuck? How are they getting alerted? I don't understand the logic sometimes. I don't fucking understand the logic. Who's seen what and where? Is that... Where? I see it, I see it. Motherfucker, I'll fucking kill you. I see it. What? You! So he saw me uh, from the back of his head. Gotcha. Okay. I gotcha. And I got spotted again. How can the same guy spot me if you already spotted me? He's literally pursuing me. How can he spot me twice while he's literally pursuing me? And we know damn well you're gonna count this as twice being spotted. This is bullshit, man. Spat on a fucking TV even. It's fucking absurd. The guy's chasing you. How he can't... Look at the ass. He's getting alerted by what? How is he getting alerted? You motherfucker, I'll kill you. Oh! And he did a little... He did a turn around. He, I had to turn around one more time. I thought I heard something. My patience with this game is running very fucking thin. Very thin. The amount of time that it takes you to clear this fucking level is ludicrous. Do you have a cocksucker? Fuck! Like this? Lie to my fucking face at this bottom. He didn't. Because it's fucking impossible. Literally pursuing me and he spots me. And look at this. Did you see that yellow shit? What was that about? Who is here? Fuck right the fuck off. So this is the building here. Where is this? I want to... This is accessible from the outside. I want to know where I'm at. So all I had to do is come here. You're fucking joking. This is it. This is the way. All that crap that I did there means nothing. Look at it. You see the yellow shit. It's bullshit. I'm going to continue because I want to... 
I want to make sure this is the way. It's very, very, t every fucking goddamn day I come here and I go like, you know, I'm not going to get upset with this game. It is fucking impossible. And now this is very annoying. I know there's a guy here. I can't see him. My goodness, there's a guy here, man. But then there's another person patrolling the place. Where? So somebody's walking around here. What the fuck are you doing, Rick? I don't even know where I'm at. There we go. It's a cat lady. And there's another guy. Holy shit. This is gonna be annoying. And then, yeah, the second guy can't patrol me. So I got a, I got a tent of that guy. I can barely see his back. And then this bitch here. Come on now. Thank you. Come on. Get off me. Get off me, Rick! Oh, he did a crazy one. There we go. Oh, my goodness. And then there's another guy nearby. It's crazy. Stop, Rick! That's enough! Enough with the pageantry! Fucking enough, I tell you. I need as many kills as I can to even have a chance. Oh, yeah, this is a curious one. So I've always had this here. I don't know if that's any Anikage upstairs or the people upstairs, but you think there's somebody down here and there's just not. I run this, this, those hallways here before I try to find somebody and there's just nothing. Okay? Rick and Maru has a fertile imagination. All right, let's go. I have no fucking clue here, let's see. Why the fuck would you do this, you fucking miserable fuck? Look, I almost got spotted here, you piece of shit. Trying to ruin my fucking playthrough, let's go. No, no, I want to make sure where you're going, where you're headed. I want to know where you're headed to eat. I want, I want to know everything. Ah, look at that. And there's a lady. Hey, and she's jumping around. Awesome. Die, you fucking miserable. Ah! Damn it! Get off, get off, get off. Get... Rick, get the fuck out of here, man. The cat lady is there. I don't want to attract your fucking attention. It's the last thing I want. Come on. Oh my god, and this guy is down. How much health they have? Yeah, keep blocking. That's fucking fun. I hate that walk. There's a, a certain walk that AI does. It's like sideways, kind of looking forward. Like, how the fuck? Even wonder how the fuck they even walk like that. You're not bringing me there, asshole. <sighs> blocking nearly everything. There we go. Shut up, you didn't see a thing. Quit lying on me, you lying bitch. Where is she? Glitched out of existence? Oh my god. She was right here, we saw it. And now she's stationary? Where is she? We saw a cat lady here. She back here? She fucking disappeared! What the fuck is going on? I needed a kill, man! She fucking disappeared, the lady. What? Oh, wait. Is that her? No. What the fuck is going on here? Where? There was a lady here. She became fucking invisible. What happened? Where is she? Uh, by now, there's zero chance I'll get the Grandmaster. Uh, you know, I want I do. I have some hope. Who knows? There's a little tiny bit, a, sh a little shred of hope for me. But... Where'd that lady go? What's going on here? There's gotta, there's gotta be more enemies here, right? Okay, get the health potion, just in case. I mean, Kagi can be a fucking asshole sometimes. I am very interested to know where that lady is. Where'd she go? 
Do the double jump at least once. Oh yeah. What an awesome world it would be if this worked every time for me. Did she come up here? No, this is only Kage's fight already. Who the fuck is, is getting alerted here? Where's the lady? Oh, fuck off. You have done well to get here. Lord Mayo will be so impressed. So, Onikage, your Lord Mayo is behind all this? <laughs> what does it matter? By now, your Lord Goda's castle will have been breached. Uh, yeah. There you go. Welcome to Jank. This is what I'm talking about. I, we didn't have to wait much. There you go. There's a boss battle happening. Is he coming here? Maybe try to attract him. Come. There we go. Oh my God. Okay. Where is he? Oh yeah, he was. Hey, you ever had a boss fight that the boss gives up and fucking disappears? He disappeared. Look at this exciting boss fight. You still... So first the lady and now him. So there's a, an evil compelling force here that is ab abducting people. Maybe they ran ahead about the alien. Maybe there's actual aliens here. Where is the boss? Respond. Fucking god damn it. I wanna know where you go. Come. I wanna I wanna see what you do. What what happens here? Yeah, we we'll fight here then. Come. 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 Oh my god, okay. <laughs> No, no, you're not luring me to be sideways on the slope. None of that shit. Come here and fight me. Come, come, come! come. I don't know if you can fall here. I'm terrified. Come on. No, 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 no. Get off the fucking ass! Oh my god! Oh my god! What do I even tell you here? And I, I don't think there's a way in from here. This game is ridiculous. I'm sorry, I, I don't give a shit! You grow up with it. This game is fucking ludicrous. You fa I fell off. I thought I, for a naive mom, and I thought it was a, a. And you can't go back up because look, you can't climb it. You can't climb it, but you can fall. Oh my god, this is. So basically, I have to. I have to drop down all the way. I have to drop down all the way and and make all the way back because the game is so fucked up. It is so fucked up. The boss fight still play. You who? Who is this? Where? Who the fuck are you, man? Who the fuck is this? Look at him. Where is he going? What is happening? Who is this guy? I was here! For half an hour, looking for that cat lady, and this guy materializes out of nothingness. Look, dude, if you're not gonna attack, then why you? Oh my God. This is this is hopeless. This guy materialized out of nothingness. He wasn't here. We were here before. Are you fucking? Are you gonna? Then fight me, you sack of shit! Try to attack me when I'm having my potion, will ya? Look 
at him. He's leaving. Where are you going, you fucking lunatic? Please die. I got bigger fish to fry. I wasn't expecting you here. Fucking suck my farts. Look at this. Is there another warning? What, what was that warning? Who is here? What was that? What's going on? Is there, is there more people materializing here out of nothingness? The cat lady miraculously returned? I wouldn't be surprised. You know what? I'm gonna actually be cautious. I think the cat lady could just reappear here somehow. No, okay. What a bunch of shit. What a bunch of fucking shit. Like it, who, what is this? What is the meaning of this? Where, where are you? Oh, and he recovered his energy. His, his life bar. Isn't that fucking awesome? Oh, sorry, boy, you asshole! God, and, and Rick, he feels like a fucking ton. Like he weighs a ton. The way he weighs the sword and everything is just so fucking slow. Look at this. After you block it, it's a half an hour until you're available to attack again. It's fucking horrible. Am I gonna fall again? Oh, the, he failed this time. Is he gonna be able to come back? Die already, man. What? He's gone? Oh shit, well fucking thank you. Ten shoes from the bottom of my heart of my cold, dark, shriveled, fucking hate-filled heart. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving me a fucking break. I did kill 15 people on the attack that you get there. But uh, I'm so glad this is the one that's gonna make the final cut. And I want you to look here and leave a comment telling me the game is not janky, you're just an asshole. Yeah? Now I appreciate the game, I love the game. You know, I wouldn't be playing on the channel if I didn't. But holy fucking shit with the jankiness, even for the time. It is crazy. You're in a boss battle. I assumed that that, I wasn't sure that was an invisible wall, but it, actually it is the edge of the fucking pagoda building. And if you fall, that's it. You gotta make your way back. And then there's a guy that materialized out. And he wasn't there. Don't tell me he was there. He wasn't. I, I looked all over the place because of that damn cat lady and the guy just, he was not there and he just showed up. But thank goodness I can't complain because I got the Grandmaster anyways. So again, my advice to you again is just persevere. Just keep trying. You know, even if you got spotted because you can still get the Grandmaster. It, it means when I started playing this game first time, whenever I would get spotted, I, I didn't even know starting to select. I would just painfully kill myself by having the guys kill me. That took forever. That was horrible. Okay, let me tell you, that was fucking horrible. When I first play this game and I would get spotted, what I would do, I shit you not, I didn't even know about the start select, I wouldn't press reset, I would just sit there and take it, let the opponent kill me, and that would take forever, and to add insult to injury, I had to see, you know, Rick and Maru die, which is horrible, and it's shit. Uh, so then I, I learned later that you can reset the game, which is the same thing really, minus the intros by just pressing start and select together. Anyways, we are up to the final challenge now. Uh, this went better than I thought. It was what, my second try or what the hell was that? First try, second try, I can't remember. Uh, I think it was the first try, was it? 40 minutes though. And I wasn't sure where to go, so essentially the building right there, right in the beginning. That's all I have to do. I missed it. So, kill the guy at the beginning if he's there. Climb on up to the front, uh, you know, sort of gate. There's, there's always a guy there, you know, one way or another. And then don't go up the roofs unless you have to kill people around there and make it easier for you. And then you want to go on that door right there uh, a little bit to the right. 
and that's it. You don't have to go to the sewer fucking system, you know, system like you're a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. You just need to go on that part and then just go on up. And when you get with, uh, you know, with Amikage, it's just janky as fuck. It should be, that room should, should have been sealed. There should be like invisible walls so you can fight him there in peace and concentrate on the combat. Not concentrate. Gee, I wonder if this fight is going to push me backwards and I fall off the building and I got to come back like, like a dumbass. And like I said, it doesn't affect the game's greatness. It does a bit, actually, it does. But, you know, great games have that. Right? Mario 64, you can go on bob -omb Battlefield and go fight the, the bob -omb King up there. And you can fall, technically. So, you know, and that's still a fucking awesome game. Who the hell would argue that game is not good? There you go, let's go. Let's move. Oh, shit, I keep forgetting, because I'm so fucking excited by the time I, I get a Grandmaster. Suck it time. Yeah. Awesome. Cheers. Last level. I know it's gonna be hell, but let's let's get her done. Good stuff. Let's have another one for Anikage. He ain't dead yet, though. You get to see him again. Still a little bit left. All right. I think I can't. It can't be at the last level, though. Uh, the more I think about it, because there's a level with all his stuff in ruins. His castle is like fire everywhere and enemies everywhere. But then there's the cave that you gotta find the last boss. So that's, that's two levels. So I think I'm miscounting here. So pardon me if I am. And let's go next. While you were chasing Onikage in the castle, Mayo, the king of hell, kidnapped Princess Kiku, Lord Goda's only daughter. Lord Goda and his advisors are too shocked by the kidnapping for any thought or action. With Princess Kiku as a hostage, Mayo's evil power is unlimited. You are Lord Goda's only hope. You must rescue the princess and destroy Mayo. All right, let's get a system here so we can buy things quickly, because this is going to be a lot of tries. That's it. Free the princes. Prepare for the ultimate challenge. Flames and lava bring instant death. That's nonsense. I, I don't know if the... I don't know, there's a lava that kind of rains down, like a waterfall lava, if I remember correctly. I don't know if that kills you instantly, but if you fall in the lava, you still have a chance to come back, as far as I remember, as far as I recall. Okay, there's the dog arrangement. By now, we got a bit comfortable with it. It's fine. So just roll on the... See, the more you play the game, the more you get to know where the enemies are, right? So we know this uh, line piece of shit dog is here. And what we want to do is just roll quickly. That's it. And then climb up in here. See, you get you get your method correctly. And then, uh, in a gazillion hours of doing this nonsense, you can drop down because we know from the first time we tried that there's a guy on the other side on a little, little uh, islet. So we gotta just do this thing here. That's unavoidable. Just push forward. Now I killed the first guy, or was it the second guy after this? And there was an archer that got alerted and proceeded to murder one of his working colleagues with his uh, bow and arrow. Don't know what the fuck was that about. I could only hear it. I could not see anything, which is a lot with this game. Sometimes you don't know what the hell is going on. So let's proceed with, with caution here. So there's a guy right here. 
Let's try to kill him a little earlier. And let's hide. So somebody here is getting alerted. I have no clue where he is. Oh, oh I see him. I see him. I see him. Is that him? Right there. Yeah. What the fuck? Careful. Go, go back. Okay, it is stationary, so that's delicious. Awesome. I would like to know where his, uh, what, what is his original position, though? Where is he situated? But at this juncture here, it's too late to notice the body, so he probably has moved. And now he's just waiting on his goodwill to turn around. We all know by now the AI knows we're here, and they're just playing pretend. That's how this game works. And so if you see an AI looking your way constantly, taking forever to look the other way, just be aware that they know you're there and they're just playing mind games with you. That's pretty much what's going on. Just have to decide one time, and it goes like, okay, I'll throw you a bone, and it just turns the other way around so you can continue to attack. But until then, they really test your patience by doing this garbage, which is not turning the other way. There you go. Prepare to die. And I remember this archer killed somebody here, so that means there's somebody else here. And I want to know about that. Who, who is here? He was shooting, and then somebody was getting hit. Okay, let's open this. Okay. And I got spotted somehow by who? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot the X-ray dogs that can see through gates. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot that that was a thing. I forgot the dogs in this game have X-ray vision, so it makes very difficult because I didn't even open the gate. Oh my god! And I got spotted, and they, I got spotted again. And he was the fan, the phantom dog. Come here. Come here. And I would like to know if that counts as three times during spot. So as we know now, uh, dogs can see, you know, I've been it. And that's a fourth time. You know what? Let's deal with the dogs. Yeah. Let's continue. I need, a, I need to know the layout of this game. But pretty much what I remember here, this part, I actually remember this part very well because it's two dogs. So as soon as you open the gate, you have to wait here. And you wouldn't get spotted here, so I don't know what the fuck is going on. So you would come here and have to wait for both of them to be facing the right way, which is away from you, so you can attack. But right now, the game decided that that's off the window and that that glitch, glitchy motherfucking gate you're seeing there, popping in and out of existence, that they can see right through that shit. They can see through fucking stone, solid concrete, and they can see it. So good luck with that. My goodness, so far away is ludicrous. Let's go. Yeah. Somebody's getting alerted already. Hide behind the pillar and hope nobody has the strong enough uh, X-ray vision so they can see through, through. They can see through this pillar here. Let's just hope that uh, because the the gate was sort of a thin concrete, that the X-ray vision can penetrate that. I don't know if you can you climb that. No, can you? Can you or not? Uh, it's tiring. It's, it is tiring. And you see, there was a, a blue, a purple alert. Uh, who knows what that was? So the dog spotted me a gazillion times. So that that was something. I think there's people in there. Yes, sir. There's a guy here, right? 
Do I need a shot of the dead body? Come on, 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 come on. Roll back, roll back, roll back. Please alert. Continue to roll. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Don't think you're out of the, the woods. See, so the problem there is that when you see him, he didn't spot you. He didn't see me. But he saw because he came into existence. Right now he's inert, so he can't, he doesn't, he doesn't do anything. He saw the dead body. So what I have to do is attract him so he'll freak the fuck out and see that that body is ludicrous. It is ludicrous. Maybe if I go very slow and I can't see nothing. You, it's not your TV being dark. Is it? I literally cannot see the guy. Okay. He's gonna do a little turn, isn't he? No, no, no. There we go. Now let's hope that the dogs here don't have x-ray vision. I, no, there's no dog here. I think it's an Ikagi. Yeah. I don't know. The dog spotted me many times. Well, let's go. Let's try it again. Let's try. I see. You have come to meet your fate. So, you've returned. This time, you won't come back. <laughs> oh, nice. You can't beat me when I try. We'll find out. Can beat me when I try, if I try, or whatever. Awesome camera work, by the way. That's just excellent. And you gotta be aware. He likes to. He likes to drink health potions. So, kind of look. I'm try to lure him in so I can attack him. If you're very, if you're very careful, you can do well here. Uh, I wish you wouldn't block that. Okay. Nah. He... That's it. Stop! You have won. Your princess kick his head below. Guarded by Lord Mayor himself. I will see you in hell. Onikage, I destroyed you. And your master Mayo is next. Holy shit. One time it pissed me off. So I got down here and that bastard had dropped. I, I was in need for health. I had not brought, like I'm doing now, a bu bunch of potions. And he, oh, it's the demon guys. And Onikage had tried to recover his health by drinking a potion. If you hit him before he gets to it, he drops it. And then, of course, I couldn't stop fighting him, and I wanted to grab the potion, but he did this animation here, destroy the, the gigantic boulder with one, uh, you know, swap of his blade, and I couldn't, and I managed to go back even, but there's a, and watch it, there's an invisible wall. So this game, so basically if you climb, you know what, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. So I was like, ooh, is there a way to return? And yeah, there is. You can return to that. You can. I did it. I, I know I did. I'm not insane. I'm going insane with this game, but I'm not that insane yet that I'm imagining that things happen. I did it before, dude. Come on. There we go. So, so I returned here, and I was like, yeah, we're going to get the potion. All right? Nope. That's an invisible wall. That's why I failed. There's an invisible wall there. You cannot go back. So they could have done an invisible wall in the fight, the, the, the second fight with Onikage. So you, you you know you don't fall off the fucking roof. You could have been done. They have the technology to do invisible walls here. Ah, shut up, you freak.
Ugh, this guy. Okay, this is the edge here, so I'll, I'll, I'll stay right here. Right on this spot here, let's see. God, now he's going all the way back there. Again, I got spotted many times, so I don't know. I don't even know if this this run will be worth it. Why are you going halfway only, you jerk off? Motherfucker's going halfway only here. Let's go. My legs are hurt. I gotta I gotta make a better arrangement here with my seat. It's horrific. I'm right now. I'm seating on the cardboard box that is low enough so you know I don't hurt my spine here watching the TV. Let's go. I don't know what I don't know what else to do. He's gonna turn, isn't he? I missed the swipe. I don't know man. I don't think if it's worth continuing this. Somebody else is alert. I'm gonna press on because I learned from the last time, you know, if you kill a lot of guys here maybe, but I don't know. I don't know. Who the Who's spotting me here? Who, what is this? Who is alerted? There's nobody here. Who is alerted here? Who? That even, even if there's a guy behind that, you know, around that corner there, he can't see what the hell's going on here. Quit blind on my face! This game is so full of, like, who the fuck is being alerted here? Okay, I remember this, that, that guy. Oh. Okay, I think I... Quick, 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 drop down, motherfucker, drop down! Holy shit! And that's not a bit. Okay. Let's kill him first. Bullshit. I knew you're full of shit. Let's go. You can do two of these turns in a row, you son of a bitch. Let's take a look down here. I'm curious. Oh, what's what's down here? Don't do that, Rick. I don't want that. No one does. Okay, because if there's an enemy here, I could rack up some of those kills, you know? There we go. Okay, a trap here? Let's go. Okay. No, 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 no. Go. Head on back, head on back, head on back. I think that's actually the way, so what... What would be here on this side here, then? I want to see, because maybe there's an enemy. I gotta kill every enemy that I see here in the hopes of getting a Grandmaster. Oh, that's literally it. Oh, anything here? Nope, that's just more textures. Okay, let's go down there, then. I know that's the way, because I remember. And I know, I think there's one of those freaky demons here, the under, underwear demons on this side. Right here, is it? No. Good. Ugh. No, do I have to jump here? Are you serious? No oh, way. No, there's got to be. I remember being an easier way than that. And here? Yeah, there we go. I gotta kill every motherfucker I see here. Everyone. Everything must go wholesale. That's a freaky place. It'll be just a matter of what I'm doing here, I'm in a mission of mercy. I have to kill everyone because that dog, that dog fucked me up majorly. Yeah, this is cool, look at this. I love those old games when there's lava or uh, very vibrant colors like this, look at this. And on a CRT, it looks fantastic. I love it. Look at it. Very cool. I don't want to get too close though. Okay, somebody's in here. Look at that. Fucking bodies hanging. Fucking awesome. It's an awesome stage. It is an awesome game. It's frustrating, but it's pretty awesome. 
No doubt about it. Somebody walking around here. I think he'll be here, right? There he is. Now nah, we wait. It's a stealth game. And I'm not rushing all the way there either. Even though I can see I probably could have gotten away with it. I'm gonna wait for the right moment. I need, I cannot be fucking spotted here in Amber. The dog alone spotted me four times, I think. There we go. Oh, no. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing, dude? What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? What the fuck was that? Let's go. Get the fuck away. Fuck away from everything. There's a demon in there. Where? Ah. Come on, dude. What the fuck? Now I need you to hug the wall. Uh, the, the time is now, buddy. There we go. They walk so weird. I wish you would do the little dance that he does sometimes. I think he did. I think... I'm not sure if that's what that was. It looks so weird. Okay, I gotta really make sure of his pattern. I cannot be spotted here again. I think even with the amount of times I got spotted, it would be very tough. Die, you freak. Die, you freak. I think this is the way, but I'm gonna go back here. First admire those things. Look at that. Look at that shit. It's fucking cool. I love this place. That's why I can't be a speedrunner, too. I like to look at things. Somebody made this. It's fucking cool. So I, I'm gonna go everywhere, because I... I want to find every living soul here and murder them in order to get the Grand Master if I can. Ah, oh, man. Oh, look at this. It's a guillotine. Is that awesome? Look at that. Come on, dude. Pop in the texture. Body parts and the guillotine. Just here. I don't think I ever seen it again anywhere else. Okay, very careful. I hate it. Don't fucking do it. There was a number, right? Of an enemy? Pretty sure. Oh, there we go. Oh, I think this is the feller, the other side of this this here lava. Yep. So you gotta jump this very quickly. And you gotta go get that guy too. So you have to wear, I have to do the double jump here, and be be aware of that guy's pattern so I can kill him before he spots me. And I can't see very much of him now. Uh, come on, dude, come return. There we go. So if I go like this, you'll see me. So that's the only time I can see him. So right there. Oh, now. And I got spotted. Fuck you. Fuck you, you fucking miserable cocksucking fuck. You motherfucking ugly mother. Shut the fuck up. Take the step in the belly! Get the fuck out of here. Get out! Fucking fly in here. Fuck you get in here. So that was bullshit. I, I, I want to know what that jump is. So okay, so I press. Of course, I'm trying to do the double jump. What's happening? Okay, let me see. No, get out of here. Get out of here. Go, go back to that area. I want to know what is this bullshit with this jump, man. So double jump. I'm trying to replicate what happened. Okay, maybe press many times, is that it? It's not happening. Why is why I can't replicate what just fucked me over? Fuck this game sometimes. Just fuck this fucking game sometimes. I did a double jump and then some weird fucking weird jump that I can never fucking replicate happened. Look at this! What is this? What is this jump? Just jump forward! 
And I didn't even. Oh, this is horrible. What? What's your problem, bastard? Who is this? Who is here? Get off. There's no body here, dude. How is this part of me? How How can it see through here? Fucking unreasonable. At least he's stationary. That's, uh, he saw me all the way there from through this wall? What are you talking about, game? Die, die, fucking asshole. Die. No, there's no fucking way in hell I can get a girl. What's going on now? What was that? Now I lost signal. What the fuck is going on? I don't need any more problems! Don't ever do that again! What the fuck was that? What is happening here, dude? What the fuck is going on? I'm losing signal here for no reason. Come off it! Losing fucking image shit. I never had this problem. Come to the last level now, I gotta experience this bunch of bullshit. Put it back on full screen here so I can make sure it's recording. There's not, I tell you what's worse than not getting the Grandmaster. Is getting the Grandmaster on camera here for the video and then finding out that he wasn't recording or some bullshit. Fuck you. What are you doing? What's going on here? What the fuck is happening? He won't stop. What is this? Oh my god. Fucker! Jesus, what was that? I think I had to lower him in. Is that it? Yeah, this is the place where it happened, by the way. Yeah, I was right there. I was telling you earlier that I, I was trying to... I did perfectly. No, no spotting. Nobody spotted me. I made it perfectly here. Full health. All the work. The works, man. Just perfect fucking... And, and like that, but he just fell. That was it. I just fell there and died. Yeah, do your little turn, you piece of shit. Prepare to meet your maker. Kill him, kill him. Go into the fire! Yeah! Burn, baby, burn! This is awesome. You piece of shit. Man, wouldn't be good if I got a Grandmaster, but I think I've been spotted too many times. There's no way. Don't cling on the wall, you fuck. You gotta be very careful here, very careful. Because there's a, there's a, oh, shit. Motherfucker. I thought it was gonna, woohoo, shut the fuck up. He saw me, he saw me. Get out, go into the fire, into the fire, into the fire. No, not not you. Already. What the fuck is happening here? All right, take this up. And he has one health. One health. There we go. Die. What the fuck am I supposed to do in this place here? I don't get it. God. Yeah, this is uh, it, the guy is still burning. This is not going to be a grandma. Usually, oh no. I'm going to do without. I'm going to try to do not do the double jump. The, yeah, yeah, 
Yes, thank God. I don't trust that the dash jump in there. No fucking way. Yeah, this is a master ninja, ninja at best. There's no fucking way I can get a, a grandmaster out of this. No, Rick, I don't want that, Rick. Yeah, I don't know how many people I kill, but I, it doesn't feel like a lot. Just, can I, is there more people here? One time I needed more enemies. Here. No, okay. This is also a weird jump. It's kind of like a sideways jump. And I don't know if that thing hits you. Yeah, might as well recover my energy. There's no point of going. Just the guy, his attacks are very powerful. <laughs> so, you killed Onikage. Who would have thought it possible? Tell me where Princess Kiku is. <laughs> Do not concern yourself with the girl. Think about saving your own skin. He's an Xbox fan. Let's go, Xbox. Oh, you got one. Okay. He, so he teleports. You gotta be very careful because he teleports and his attacks his attacks can be pretty brutal. Okay, there we go. That one. Not doing bad. Potion, 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 potion. Run. Run away. Come on, quick. Quick, Rick and Maru, quick! How long does it take for you to drink a fucking potion? Come on, man. The problem is this, is the fight, the fight is so... Drink, drink the potion. Oh my god, drink the potion. Don't, nothing else, drink the potion. Oh my god, it just takes fucking forever to do anything, Rick. Look at this guy, I can't even stand up! Rick, stand up! Drink another one, I'm not fucking around here. Quick, you motherfucker, quick! Oof, my goodness. Come on, man, I can't see, it's so slow to turn. It's so... Oh my god, no, 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 another one. Fucking do another one. Do do another one, Rick! Drink the fuck- My god, are you gonna sleep forever, dude? Drink it! Alright. It's gonna be a master ninja. No! This cannot be a mere human. <laughs> All of Lord Goda's enemies die by this blade. Kikimaru! Princess Kiku, you're safe. Ayame saved me. But I was scared. 
Nikimaru, it's dangerous here. We'd better get out. Hmm. This looks bad, Ayame. Come on. Mayendo, you did well. This is an awesome game. It has its problems, definitely, but my god. I'm saying here like I'm gonna stop playing the game, but we all know I didn't get a Grandmaster. There's no fucking way I got a Grandmaster on that run. So I'm gonna wait for the credits here. I can't remember because the only time I got Grandmaster on the stage was once. And that was a very long time ago, the first time I played this game. So I'm not sure if I have to wait for the the credits roll here, which I always wait anyway, as those people, they work very hard, they deserve to have their names displayed here fully. But uh, I'm worried, worried, not worried, I'm uh, wondering when I'm going to be able to see the, if I got a Grandmaster or a Master Ninja, if there's still an ending scene, you know, afterwards with your score and everything, even though you beat the game. So we're going to wait for the credits to roll here, and we're going to see what's uh, what's going to happen. I gotta, I'm going to avoid talking too much about my uh, you know, views on the game right now because I'll probably make a post-game talk like I usually do about the game I just played. Uh, and again, I'll probably have to go back to that damn stage again. I'm not as much, uh, I'm not as afraid of the boss as I once was, the last boss. I can see that if, you, if you're quick with the potions and you have healing potions, you could do just fine. Uh, you have to be careful. I did get down all the way to 13th. Uh, 13 points of health remaining, so that was a close call. Uh, if he had decided to hit me, that Rick is very slow sometimes, you know, not for a ninja, but for a person in general. But I guess if I took a huge sword to the face, I probably wouldn't stand up as quickly as well. Probably never would stand up again. But I think if you have enough enough health potions, I don't know if the bombs will be useful with that guy at all. I, I feel like I don't want to risk it. Uh, I think that the sword, once you get a rhythm, is pretty, it's pretty effective. You have to just really avoid getting hit twice, it looks like. And the sword hit takes a lot of health. Uh, yeah, but if I, I noticed that if you hit him, the only time that you actually lose your rhythm and you can't hit him anymore is because of the game's kind of janking as you keep going forward while he doesn't go as backward as much, so you go past him and then you gotta do the dreadful 
uh, shit that you have to do of turning around, which is nearly impossible in this game. I know about the up and down square. Again, I showed you time and time again. For me, it doesn't work as well. I'm aware, up and down square, you do a quick turn. I don't think it's quick enough even. I just would like to have a quick turn period. Not a quick turn move with a, a sword slash. Uh, just a quick turn. That would have been very great. But again, it's a very old game. It was the first ever 3D stealth game. So I will give it a break. I mean, what, what can I do, you know? Like I said, hindsight is 2020. You know? Like Bubsy 3D. You ever heard of that game? I'm not saying I'm going to play that shit. I, I don't think ever. But they thought they had something amazing at the time because uh, 3D games, uh, uh, adventure, from what I read, that adventure 3D games, you know, Mario 64, I, I don't think was out yet. So let's see here if we get a, uh, to the point, they, they did well, but compared to other games, it's kind of shit, obviously. So I wonder how I'm gonna see my score here. Do the Mario. Just like that, ba ba ba. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Unbelievable! I'm done! I, I beat it! I just, it's, it's fucking done! Fuck yeah! Holy shit! 13 people killed, undetected, 7 detected, and that's a Grandmaster, and that's a wrap up! Let's go, gamers! I couldn't, I couldn't express to you how happy I am right now that I, that was a grandmaster. I'm done. I, I did it. Uh, clocking in. Uh, let me see here. Uh, four, four, twelve, thirty, fourteen hours. You know, I there was a certain channel. I'm not gonna name it, but uh, he played Tenshu, and he uh, he claims to be that it took him seventeen hours. So I don't think it's that horrible. I'm not saying I'm good at the game. In, in any fucking sense of the word, I don't fucking care. I, my life is fine without being good at this game. I wanted to share this game and a playthrough with it, I per persevere, but the fact that if I'm good or not is irrelevant. I could be good at the game if I just right now reset the game and play, and, and I do that for months. You'll be good at the game. That's called, you know, practicing and getting used to things, getting to know things. You become, you, you become the game. I'm not gonna go this far. I have other games that I want to play. I have. This is the third time I grandmastered this game, except for the last stage. The last stage is the second time I ever do it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a break on the ten shoe for now, uh, for for a long time. Uh, I don't know when I'll return to the game, but I, I have never played as Ayami, and I'm very curious you, as how she feels playing the game because I heard she's faster, and I do. I find it at a time Rika Maru is very, 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 very slow. Uh, and it feels like he weighs a Let me drink this. I don't know. And look at this. Right, right on cue, Mr. Bond. Right on fucking cue. Mm. I am done. I, I beat the game. Uh, so, uh, I am at some point. We'll see what happens, but from now on, uh, from here on out, uh, I'll be, you know, pursuing new ventures and I'll be playing something else. Uh, not sure yet. I announced, I think it was Donkey Kong, the next one, but I'm, I'm thinking about just keeping a surprise. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. All right, I'm not going to get into the channel talk here. Nobody cares. A, a few people care, but that will be later. I'll do a post-game talk. I... I have a lot to say about this game. I think I might say at the beginning, but I'll say a few things here now, unscripted, uh, and make summarize as quick as I can. This game, for the time, must have felt. I did not play it back in the day. I did not play it. I was alive. I was playing PS1, but this is not a game that I had. So I think that. Uh, oh, and look, I got like an ocarina there. It uh, looks like an ocarina. I wonder what that does. I, I need to know more about the weapons in this game. I'm very curious about them. Uh, sorry, so... Get my cigarette here. So, this game at the time must have feel uh, unbelievably amazing. And, and, and it still is. A lot of people say it has an age well. I can see that. I don't. It doesn't bother me. I don't have any problems with the graphics in this game. Sure, it's pixelated of clothes and the texture, but I... The PS1 
graphics, they hold a dear place in my heart. I just, and I'm not the only one. You have some modern horror games that have a PS1 style. They're not PS1 games per se, but they they, they go after the PS1 creepy look. That it, it, It's very unique. You can look at a game and you know if it's a PS1. I think the only other console that you kind of can sometimes mix up with it might be the Nintendo DS, you know, because of the textures. Uh, but the PS1 has a unique look. And I, I don't have a problem with any of the graphics on the PS1 that they say it age and, and all that. I'm, when I'm playing the PS1, I'm just, I'm in that universe. So it doesn't, doesn't bother me if that makes any sense. Uh, whereas there's some other games that, that, that age poorly. I think especially early 3D FMV sometimes. You know, but at the time they were amazing, trust me. First time I saw uh, Resident Evil 2 FMV, I just, I crapped my pants. You know, I was like, wow. And I said, I remember saying, saying at the time, uh, someday games are going to look like that. And the guy's like, get out of here. And now, needless to say, look, you know, look at the new games. They're incredible looking, amazing, the graphics, you know, which is awesome. Uh, anyways, back on track here. I think this game is amazing. I think the graphics are fine. I think the atmosphere is fantastic. The music is superb. It's incredible. The, the music is like amazing. It's so unique. You wouldn't expect, you expect everything to be like a, no, just Asian uh, like tunes, but this game has a bit of everything, you know? They threw in Native Americans and chant, Native American chanting there, not, 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 for crying out loud. What, what I perceive to be, you know? Because I know they chant to in uh, Buddhism, I think. But anyways, Amazing in every aspect in that regard. The music, uh, the graphics, I think, are, are great. I don't mind them uh, at all. Uh, you, your mileage may vary. Uh, gameplay, when things are working, it's great. But it, it, the gameplay has aged. The, the gameplay has aged quite a bit. It has. It has. That, that it has. I, very frustrating at times. You have a thing you want to do in your mind and it doesn't happen because of controls. A lot of times you die because of nonsense. The enemy, uh, the way they detect you, a lot of times is, is bullshit. Uh, I had a, a dog that saw me. I don't know if it was the one that made a cut uh, for the Grandmaster, if you happen to be watching just the Grandmaster version of this. this video. I might put everything, all the deaths together. I'll see how much would they add it in, how much it is, you know? How difficult it will be. Because it is 12 hours plus of footage. Uh, 14 hours plus of footage to go through. Uh, but yeah, sometimes animals detect you. There's no rhyme or reason. It's kind of nonsense. Uh, but most of the time it works fine, you know? Uh, this is my third time playing the game, Grandmastering the game. So obviously I do have a thing for it. Don't take my frustration and yelling and getting very frustrated and say, I'm going to quit the game. I never want to play this again. That wears off. You get angry with a game and you get angry with something. Enough time passes on. Uh, by that you just feel like, ooh, I really miss that. I had that feeling when I came back. When I came back to play the second time, the Grandmaster, I had a yearning for Tenshu. I really wanted to play it. And I got that each scratched, but then I came time to do the video. I was admittedly very burned out by then because I, I had just Grandmastered the game, except for the last time again. And so repeating it over again was kind of a it was kind of a task, it was kind of a chore. Huh? I did have some enjoyment here and there, but mostly I was concerned with making a video, and I think that's what the problem I think if I had come back to make the video when I went to come back to play it, as you know, it would have been better. So you would have been, surely it would have been a, a lot jankier because I would have forgotten a lot of the spots, a lot more than I did this time around. Uh, but I think I would have had more fun on camera, if that makes any sense. But uh, who knows, you might like Rage, uh, might find it, you know, funny. Although I don't know how much rage will be on the Grandmaster Cut uh, version of this video. Uh, but at the end, I was really frustrated a lot of times. Uh, but do, do I recommend this game? Absolutely. A fucking, a fucking hundred thousand times, yes, I recommend this game. One gazillion times. One quadrillion. Infinite recommendations for me to for you to play this game. Do not get put off by my fucking frustration and goddamn awful temper. Don't fucking get put off by it. This game is awesome. And I, I, I'll go ahead and tell you, do not follow a guy. Play the game, discover it for yourself. Even if you watch this, it doesn't matter. You could watch a playthrough. There's no fucking way in hell that you're gonna remember what you saw here. If you, even if you watch the whole thing, there's no way in hell you're gonna remember 
uh, all of this, let's say a month from now, or even a few days from now. I know I don't. Uh, and the game will be fresh. So go, go in with a fresh mind and just play the game. If the stages feel big and mysterious when you don't know exactly where you have to go. For example, the first stage I used to go uh, up to the trees and everywhere. I didn't know where Chigoya was. So that made, that was a lot of fun. For the video, I already knew. So that kind of ruined it a bit. You kind of know where, where to go. And the stage is so, you know, quick. It's like they did all the other stuff you never got to see. But if you play the game as intended, without a, a guy that tells you exactly what you do and where to go, you're gonna have a blast finding out. Yeah, you're gonna get spotted here and there. Try to not play the game right away doing Grandmaster. Grandmaster, I think, is a replay value. So play the game doing the best that you can, not worrying about Grandmastering, like kind of aiming for it, but not really worried about it. And then after you play the game, you had enough, you, you beat the game, and you can come back and do the stages you didn't get Grandmaster, probably be the majority of them, you know, if you didn't care as much. And then you're gonna have a ton more fun doing the Grandmaster. Because I, I personally, when I played the game, I went straight for the Grandmaster, and I did have fun, but I can see a lot of people being put up by it right away if you're just chasing the Grandmaster. As you can see, it can be quite frustrating. But I would definitely just recommend playing this game. The, again, I, there's no words in the English language for me to describe how much fun I've had, had with, I've had with this game before. And granted, a little bit burnout during this playthrough here. Uh, things didn't go my way. I don't know if commenting while you're playing affects it. I'm not going to make excuses. Like I said, it doesn't matter to me. I'm not personally offended if you think I'm crap at the game. It happens. I just wanted to play. You don't have to be good at the game to play it or even share a play, playthrough of it. You know, this is not a walkthrough, it's a playthrough. So, not particularly aiming for, uh, you know, the highest skill set there. But that's it. That was uh, Tanshu. I absolutely love it. Uh, Definitely recommend it. This was a tough journey to get all the Grandmasters here on this, you know, on this capture and the CRT footage, but I'm glad I did. I was expecting to play this last level again. I'll be honest with you, thank God I don't have to. This is enough for me. And let's just quit. And that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it was my pleasure to play this game for you. I will try to choose something a little bit easier for for the next playthrough because I, I like hard, but uh, I'll see. I'll see what I come up with. And, uh, you know, if you want to hear anything else, just stay tuned. I think I probably have a post game talk or at least the outro with a pixel, pixel art if you like that sort of thing. And uh, I appreciate you passing by. Thank you and uh, God bless. See you next time. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video, and this will be, once again, the channel talk section where I talk about things related to, to the channel for my uh, subscribers and people who follow the channel so that they are uh, up to date on what's going on. Now, first, you might be noticing if you came from the Castlevania video. I hope you watched that one and liked it. Uh, if you came from there and if you were one of the few people that stayed to the end and got to watch the channel talk, you might see that it's a bit different here because on the last one, I'll be, I, I was playing the game that was gonna be next. Well, that is over and I will be explaining to you why very soon. So that's why I'm, I'm gonna have images here as a background of just the tension of the game that I just played. Now, on my last video with the Castlevania, I announced that I was gonna be playing Tenchu. I showed the monitor sorry, the television, the TV set that was gonna be used with it, the console, and I said, this is what's coming up next. Now, two days later, after that, I went to test some capture, which also I offered, same as with Castlevania. And going forward, I'll be doing every time when I can. If it becomes a problem, I would drop it in a heartbeat. But the capture became a nightmare because little did I know there's something called 480i to 240p switching that some of those consoles, especially in the generation, the fifth generation, some consoles do uh, for 240p to 480i, 480i switching for for you to better read menu, uh, menu screens and title screens to look at a higher resolution, albeit interlaced. But with modern equipment, modern equipment have, have a big problem with it, flat screens and especially scalers. 
and that was my case. The OSSC, once, once I started recording Tanshu gameplay, it would simply drop. So I think after some of the FMVs, the, the game does a little swapping quickly, and that will cause OSSC to drop the, the, the signal, and consequentially Elgato would be just recording a blank black screen. So that was a major problem. I had to scramble to get uh, a new scaler. Uh, I have in mind the Retro Tank 5X, and obviously I can't afford that now. Well, it's not obvious. You don't know my finances, but I can't. Trust me, I cannot afford it right now. And so I had to find a way to get something that would accept your 40p and 40i switch and all that, and that was the GBS uh, C, the GBS control which for a fraction of the price of the retro thing 5x which i'll still get in the future because it has a lot of awesome fun functionality within it uh, but the problem was that i i promised the game and that caused my whole channel to be on hold pretty much and building the show I'll, I'll touch on that but let's stick with the scaling right now so that held me back tremendously so if i put a great deal of importance in my word as a man, when I give you my word that something is going to happen or promises, I it really burns me to to have to break a promise, and I do everything I can within my power to not break a promise. So, and special one that is done done on camera, such as the Castlevania. So, it would be forever if I had given up on Tenchu as I should, as I would have had if I hadn't promised that because I would have just picked a new game that was less problematic to capture and then I could always do Tenshu later on. But because I had promised that, I had to follow through and that really held me back. Uh, there was a lot of problems uh, even after I got the GB, uh, GBSC, not, nothing to do with the unit itself, external problems related to the uh, VGA to HDMI and an array of issues here that just really held me back. So I decided to not be locking myself to that and announcing games uh, beforehand in advance like this. So from now on, it'll be sort of a surprise. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna handle it with, with the banner and with the way things go. And once I pick a game and it's completely successfully recorded, then I'm free to announce because after I record a playthrough, there's still a lot of editing to do, right? So it's still quite a bit of time. So I, I think I'll, moving forward, I'll be doing that. So I also, today, as I'm recording this, I decided to change the banner to not have monitors and games to come. And although some people liked it, I've had a guy in the comment that saw that I was gonna play Limbo and he was excited about it, say, good thing you're playing some modern games as well as uh, retro games, and which I will be doing. I'll be playing modern games as well. But you'll be sort of a surprise from here on out, uh, unless I, I'm fully confident of announcing one game at a time. And I think that's fine. You know, it's, uh, it's not the end of the world. Another thing I gotta touch on is I'm having a little bit of a problem is the, the, the backgrounds, the set. Few people, you know, the number of people that came here, some people do mention that they like it, and I like it. I, I do it. All the things I do here is because I also like them. I don't necessarily do it for other people alone. I also actually like what I'm doing. So I like to build a set. I like to keep it thematic. Uh, as you can see, I threw uh, some drink into the mix, which is great. I could, it gives me the chance, like if I played, you know, uh, a James Bond game, I could see which whiskey he drank, or that kind of stuff, you know? I think it's good to be thematic, like you play Mario Kart, you have a champagne, like they, they open at the end there when you get the, you know, you win any of the cups. So, you know, I enjoy it, but the problem is with the, with the thematic uh, decor, you know, the, the set is that it, it can take a lot of time and uh, money, you know? When I decided to build a shoji, which is not something I ever done, and I still don't think it came out looking like a shoji pretty much, but it was my first time, but yeah, that took forever. So at first I ordered wood, it, w it wasn't enough, I ordered a second time, and all of that you have to wait, you know, quite a few days for it to arrive here, because you're ordering uh, online. 
So, and then the second time, and then that was still not enough. And I had to order a third time. So in short, it was like a month dealing with the wood. And I, oh, and I bought a circular saw and to deal with that because I wanted, I wanted to do exact cuts. You know, I didn't want to try my hand with a hand saw. Okay. And this, after waiting a long time, the circular saw came here and it was the fact that it wouldn't work. Uh, I got a refund as one would, but still that doesn't help me getting the shoujo done. So what started as something I was very excited about and proud to do, it ended up with I just, as long as it shows on camera, I just want this shit to be over with. That's that's what it boiled down to. And I don't think it should be that way. And the printing too can be quite, uh, you know, quite a lot of work and material is being wasted because you use it one time. So I got to really think about a way of rethinking the set, just making a generic one with wood, uh, make it look good but unchangeable, maybe just concentrate on getting the proper chew here and there, or find a better, easier, and more economical way to do uh, like the paper sets in a way that is not expensive or holds me back on making videos for too long. So that's where I'm at. Now another thing I would like to mention, uh, I think that'll be the last one as far as I know, is streaming. I am considering to, you know, I'm considering a stream, be a streamer in the future. Now hold your horses, it won't be for a long time to come because I don't want to sacrifice uh, the YouTube channel or bring down the quality. It would be awesome to be able to upload more frequently, you know, different games, so many games, you know, to play. But then I don't want to miss out on the hardware showcase. It's something I really like to do. I like to do the, the pixel art intro and outro. I enjoy those things. I enjoy making a review. And if I do stream, I'll have a lot of liberty to talk and jibber jabber the whole time uh, with uh, one or zero people that might be watching the stream when I do it. But uh, what I'm going to do is very simple. I'm going to, when I get to streaming, if that's even possible, because my internet sucks here too. So, but if that ever happens, I'll be still recording at 7, 720, 60 at best, right? So that's not optimal for, for my video. So what I'm going to be doing is what I'm doing now, the same thing. The CRT part is recorded directly to the camera, to the SD card internally. So it's not affected by, by whatever. I can still use Camlink 4K, connect to a stream and still be recording at the same time. I don't see any reason why that wouldn't work. Now for the capture, it gets a little more complicated because the Elgato does not like to share USB 3.0 hubs and I only have one. And all the computers here only have one. So I might as well buy a second computer, maybe a mini PC to be able to record the capture at the same time because I would like not to drop any of the quality that is currently part of the channel in the long run. We'll see how it goes. Uh, obviously, if I'm getting very little views in return of all my work, all the work that I've been putting in, uh, I said I don't care about views, but if they're very low, then yes, of course, you, you bum me out, you know, it gets, you know, you're doing all the effort and nobody's watching, and then I'll probably just go on and do a stream. We, we see how it goes, so don't hold my feet to the fire uh, on anything that I said that might change in the future, because, you know, people change and needs change, but uh, one thing will never change is the channel will be about uh, CRTs primarily. That's not going to go anywhere. Uh, I'm not going to turn into a commentary channel. It, the, the core of the channel will always be here. That's what that is. It's just a matter of how would that be delivered, streaming or, or, or anything. And again, I might be announcing that. And then I tested one stream on YouTube, uh, unlisted, and I had a friend of mine to go watch it. And it held up, but it was a good day on the internet. Sometimes the internet here acts up and nothing works. If And if that happens to be a day I'm streaming uh, and people are expecting me to stream, then it's over. You know, how am I going to be able to keep that up? Because you've got to have a schedule if you're doing streaming. So it's something that I'm considering uh, heavily, but I'm not sure if it will ever be possible. But if it is, I'll make sure to announce it here. And um, one way or another, the whatever I stream will be on YouTube later on. As many of my favorite streamers, I only watch them on YouTube, such as Max and, and, and Mike Matei. I usually catch their, their stream, because Twitch never worked for me very well. And there's another thing too, Twitch or YouTube, I don't know, I don't know yet. 
uh, you'll be unrelated with the channel, so I might go to Twitch. I, I, I'm not sure. I, I still, uh, this idea is still in its infancy. I'm not sure how well it can be implemented or even possible with the internet here. Uh, anyways, uh, that concludes the uh, channel talk. I don't think I have anything else to talk about. I appreciate your custom. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for listening. And I'll see you next time. Hopefully a little bit shorter, you know, time in between uploads this time. But no promises. I do what I can. It's a hobby, not a job. And I hope you understand that. And I hope that when I do upload videos that you truly enjoy them and that it brings you some joy in one form or another. Thank you very much for everything. I appreciate it. And take care of yourself. And until next time, God bless. And I see you next time. Bye-bye. Nani?